Troops, the merch has arrived. Can we get the klaxon, Joe? Oh my God. So if you want to get involved with the merch, we've got hoodies, beautiful hoodies. We're wearing them right now, as you can see. We've got t-shirts, we've got tote bags, we've got the lot. We've got three different designs out there now. So this was drawn by Jamie Kelly, the mushroom design. If you want something done. Right. Official artwork. Do it yourself. And that's it, mate. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Yeah. So as you can see on screen now, we've got the mushroom, we've got the deep fried melting text, and we've got the alien head. So if you want any of them, get down to the description. So it says clubshopdirect.co.uk forward slash Riley's gaff. Um and get down to the description, just follow the link. And also, if you want to support us on Patreon, you can do that. We do not mind that at all, guys. Um and in return for supporting us on Patreon, what will they get, Jamie? They'll get extra content every single month, mate. They'll get another deep fried. You love deep fried, don't you? But it says. You'll get an extra deep fried every month and you'll get bonus content, extra videos. We've got a, a few series on there that are exclusive to Patreon, so get out there and support the podcast. I go sign up for a month, see what you think. If you don't like it, then fucking leave. But I think you'll like it, Troops. So enjoy the podcast. Change, but you know for the most part nothing ain't different Sometimes be stuck in my ways We can fucked up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand, I'm chillin' with the trips And my few cans do so I walk like Winston Trust me, I wake up hanging. You hang that I'm leaving this bed, you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relaxing your best No, I'm sticking on Riley's gown Do you know I can't that's actually hit a permo? Like actually, like you know I can't and they're like, oh Aye Like, but I mean like stoting about the streets No, I know para cunts, I know I can't that like Like constantly tripping, like still aye. tripping basically Still tripping Still tripping No, I knew I couldn't that was like permo par uh, like paranoid And he like locked himself in his, in his house and was like Saying, oh they're coming for me and all that Like I know mad shit like that But I don't, don't know cunts walking about just seeing shit I don't even know if that's mm. a thing mate Mate, but every, I, like I feel like I, I speak to people And the, I, who told me, somebody told me a story recently about it pure I mean, fucking, uh, you used to take acid fucking like every night, like one at night, and then it like fucking five years on that, and then one day, mate, it's just fucking. Do you know what I mean? There's always a mad story about a cunt that just Aye. went that wee bit too far, you know what I mean? Like you say, cunts that wake up and uh, like I get like microdosing and that. I know boys that like put a wee bit of like lysogenic acid in uh, like, a bottle of water and they'll just go about the day drinking it. Aye, that's like, microdosing's well aye. different aye, than know, like taking. Aye. I know boys that have like. Went to that because when they were like 18 to like 25, they just fucking sat taking acid all the time. Like woke up in the morning, had to be through them. Uh, you know I mean? So like they need it in their system to feel normal. Aye, that, aye, is crazy, is that is crazy. To be but fair. I've always wanted to like see when I'm like no concert, I'm like, I wonder what his head's like, you know what I mean? Imagine aye, how, like, like knowing like what he's actually put his brain through, aye, what mate. what must his inner thoughts in that be? Aye, it must be so like just a mad expanse. Because, you because get a hold think about this, right? So think about what you've done, right? Mm -hmm. Over the course of your career. <laughs> right? Well, what I talk about stats, mate. Mate, I'll pull the XG up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie Kelly expected drugs, mate. Uh, <laughs> XD. Th aye, the XD, man. But um, so like think about what you've done, right? And like er, er, like the years and that, and then think about cunts you know that have like went ten times harder right. than you have, right? But even and when then, you're at your but, hardest but think about your thoughts like just randomly throughout the day, like fucking all the mad shit you think right. about, and like get yourself into thinking, and then think about how much more intense right. theirs must be, and think about what that is. Like, see the country go, your head's fried, like you're tripping Aye. all the time. That see, like the 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 difference between like them and then us, and then think about the difference between us and then that cunt. Do you know oh. what I mean? That is insane. I mate. like to get there, mate. I'll, mate, do people like call you there. fried a lot? I like just like crackers and that fried. Like, cause I'll just I get say that shit, a lot. Mate. Like, think that's why we're doing a podcast I together, probably. probably. I, like, I'll sometimes just say shit to cunts, just be like talking. And I'll just be like, I, like the day, actually, the day I was working with a guy, right? And like in my job, it's like I go to different sites, so I meet different people every day, so I don't mind what I say to them and that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I was so just sitting talking to this guy. And like a one night stand, bro. <laughs> a one night stand conversation. Aye. But I was talking to this cunt, and was, I don't even know why I said it, but I was like, yeah, sometimes, do you ever just think that I could just rob that shop or I could just rob that cunt? Like, I just thought that because I was like, I don't know if it was like, 
I don't even know why I was thinking about it, but I was just thinking about Rob and I show up and I'd be like, that'd be easy, man. That'd be easy. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I, and I was like, ah, what well, I'd do, I purely outlined a plan. I was like, I'd scout it out. I'd see if there's hundreds of workies going to that show up in the morning. And if there was, I would wear my workie shit, buy a clav on, just go in and be like, <laughs> Do you know how, like, what is the point in even putting the workie shit on if you've got a balaclava on, but because you look like, pure edge? Why, why would a workie be wearing a balaclava? Because if it's their workies that have been going in all the time, they'll go, he had the same workie clays on as this cunt. Like the guy with the balaclava, do you know what I mean? Mm. But I said this to somebody that I had just met, and it was like, I, you're nuts. Mate, you have, a, you have a huge, I would say humongous at times, habit of, I think like when you meet people, like if you're in a mad certain kind of mood, mate, you'll just hit out with something and like, you're like, right, can you deal with this aye. sort of thing? Like, what is your, but, what is your response to aye. me saying this? Like, but what some, are you made of? Do, I mean? do, do, exactly, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. It's like... And cunts crumble, mate. Cunts there. can crumble. But it's for their benefit. Like, I don't care what they say back. It's just they either pass or fail. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not wanting this feedback for me. I'm, like, wanting to see what this cunt's all about. Aye. Right? And you passed the test ages ago, mate, and... Good. Re relationship it was sort. Awesome. It was sort of... It was sort, sort of reminds me of the thing that... Mind the story I was telling about me going up to the cunt... And Jai me, I'm like five, Aye. right? And then like, I like putting, I like putting it on cunts, mate. Aye. I mean, I'll put it on cunts. <laughs> That's what cunts, mate. Cunts have been out here for years saying when will Evan Riley start putting it on cunts. And well, it's, it's fucking starting the, the day. Sleep on it, mate. Mate, I've been putting it on cunts for a fucking. A good while, mate. I could, mate, I've, I've been putting that, that graft in, bro. I know you have, mate. I know the Grafters that. Academy, mate. Do Join I... today, fifteen percent off Riley's gaff code. And we, me and Jamie are bringing out a programme which is going to help you. Basically, like, it's just, just a book full of inspirational quotes. And it's for... And there's mainly, pictures... Mainly for putting on cunts. And there's pictures there, isn't it, saying how to put it fucking right on cunts. Grafters Academy. Right. So you can get 15% off, go down in the description. Promo code, right, let's get. Evan. Oh. Oh, Jamie, do you know what? I would love to hear what you've got to say, but I'm actually experiencing some tropical tones at the moment running through my veins from this beautiful beverage fan of uh, lemon ice or something or caribbean crush or... jamie ya plonker it's beer <laughs> and it's a tropical paradise thing. it's tropical paradise i'm getting notes of fucking pineapple and citrus mate mate beers just beers meant to be bland and 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 not even adventurous on the parrot mate what year are you stuck in, bro? It's no 2022 anyway. Because let me tell you, Jamie, Beer 52 have solved all the problems regarding beer. So, troops, listen up. The kind, kind folks at Beer 52 are offering the people at Riley's Gaff, the listeners, the gaffinators, they're offering them a free case of eight beers. Eight craft beers from all over the world, right? Your palate is going to go on a journey. A, 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 are you going to deny your parrot a round-the-world trip? <laughs> what are you? Cruel? Nasty? Despicable? Mean? Disgusting? <laughs> so, troops, all you need to do to claim that free case of eight craft beers is go to www.beer52, and that's the number 52, beer52.com forward slash Riley, R-E-I-L-L-Y. And once you've put that code in, all you need to do is cover the postage costs. Five ninety five, come on for eight craft beers from all over the world. They've got beer for everybody. If if dark beers know your thing, they've got light only cases. They've, they've they're catering to all troops. In fact, anybody who gets the case of beer from Beer Fifty Two are going to receive some tasty snacks, and they're also going to receive a copy of the award winning Ferment magazine. Woo! So get with it, troops. And look, the thing is, see if you want to sign up for this. And then you're like, oh, I don't want to continue this. You can cancel it any time. So if you're not satisfied, you know, get the free case and then cancel it. But we think you will be. And also, if you want to pause it, you can do that as well. So it's very flexible. What is there really no to sign up for this for? Like, what, what reason would you have that you wouldn't want to sign up and get this for? It's, it's silly. And look, troops, it helps support us as well. So if you want to support us and get free beers... You know where to go. The link's in the description. For audio listeners, it's www.beer52.com forward slash Riley, R-E-I-L-L-Y. Did you ever go through a phase of, like, that kind of football casual that you wore gazelles and that? 
I don't know a wee bit, mate. I mean, a couple of wee games on the bus and that. And, like, did you wear, like, the Adidas trainers that are always swear, like, Spezials, Gazelles? Spezials, mate. I had a, 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 a Spezials, if I'm remembering right, I, I wore, like, the, I had, like, a black and green pair. Aye. I had them, I think. Mate, they were right. nice to be fair, mate. But yeah. Sauce me them. Joe Paul it up. <laughs> the reason I was thinking about them is because, like, he was saying, like, something about the kettle air. And I was like, I pure remember, like, buying a wee brush for my suede. Like, Aye. mad Gazelles and that. And like everybody used to go, oh, see, if you, see if you put it now if you boil raquetto and it, the, the boil what the steam's coming out the tap, get hold your shoe, the tap of that, then like brush your sweat, look brilliant. No, <laughs> pure shell tips now. I pure remember doing it. Like, mind, oh mate, mind Addy porn on like countries to put like our Adidas oh, trainers oh, around circles. And because you'd be like sharing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole thing. Mate, I, I remember looking at them and going, oh, I wish that was my mate, room, man. I've got the funniest fucking post ever, right? So I remember when I was kind of going through this phase, but I really wasn't, but I was got to away games and that. And like, I found a post for me the other day, right? Like, I made a memory, right? Wait till I find this, man. Take a picture of last longer. <laughs> I was set to people, though. Do you, aye? Has anybody ever done that? <laughs> Imagine you said that to somebody and they've done it. <laughs> You'd be like, ah, mate, delete that. <laughs> 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 that would be the best thing ever. Take a picture. Uh, my oh, phone's up, Barry. Uh, you've got your phone. Use your phone. You send it to me. And then you've got the kind of number on that. No, I me. do, I. Whatever, I. That works for you. <laughs> right, but I mean, as I was saying about being a fucking casual, man. Oh. No, was I casual? No comment. <laughs> was I a dirty, dirty guy? No comment. It was. But was I up Doug Hillendrum Sagard holding a smoke bomb? No way. Look, look at this. Look at the picture first, right? So you can see it on screen. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Is that you in the mad penguin jacket? <laughs> but it's a Jack Will jacket. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, man. Right, but, oh, the baggy jeans, isn't it? Aye, mate. Oh, mate, that was in, in my... That was the 31st of July 2012, right? But this is the best part. So such an insecure caption. I'm obviously feeling like I'm gonna take a bit of heat for this, right? <laughs> Stoning just holding a smoke bomb, right? Obviously the way it is in Glasgow, we know it's uh, dog eat dog. It is. So I've captioned this 31st of July 2012. <laughs> we don't want to be ultras or casuals or any of that shenanigans. <laughs> so that's the first sentence, right? Automatically I saying bad start, I just tr just trying out smoke bombs for away games and thought we might as well get a wee picky wiki. What what is going on? You never wrote that, bro. Hey, I wrote you've it. always been a bad bee, <laughs> bro. I wrote that, mate. <laughs> uh, I wrote that thirty first of July, twenty twelve, bro. Let one more time for the people at the back. We don't want to be ultras or casuals or any of that shenanigans. <laughs> just trying out smoke bombs for away games and thought we might as well get a wee pick. Picky wicky. Oh, what's picky wicky? I don't know. Sounds like something I caught like a Do you know I know what a picky wicky is, man? And it's it's a it's a nickname for a picture actually. Is it? Yeah. Aye. You got a wee snap, mate. I've got one of the like I've got a just um the same no the same level of like gimpiness picture like that. And it's like me walking along London Road and my pal's got a flare and I'm like this. Is worse than anyone may find it. I ain't trying to find it, bro. Look. We done a lot of stupid things when we were younger. I remember sitting two buckets before a driving lesson once. No, you never did. But I didn't know I had a driving lesson, right? I went up to Dugkill, done a couple of buckets out. You know, the we we had the location of every bucket down, mate. And I went up there, done two, two rapid. No, no, even one. Two, two rapid, bro. Got up. Walked out the fucking woods bit, looked at my phone, it's my da. Hello. Evan, hi. Your uh, driving instructor's at the door says you've got a lesson. I was like, no, man. Because I had already patched one right. the week before, and now like, driving instructors are like, I will not have this again. Aye. Cancellation's not up here. Like, obviously, you just don't get your test. I, I mean, you've never passed a blacklist. Aye. You'll never drive. I'll get you put in the blacklist. The blacklist? You'll never drive a car. You'll never drive a car. You know? <laughs> the only car you'll have is a remote control car. I mean, imagine that button like 30 year time, and you're like, fuck it, I'll just try and get an attack. 
and you try and get a taxi and then like your driving instructor's mad goons I've came and wrestled you I'm not getting a motor I'm not getting a motor I'm pure folding you up the road that. you punch two lessons I'm like, you're <laughs> fucking dick pure choking you like, oh, mate fuck. look the world's getting at that Jamie obviously we are <laughs> in the North Pole look the sun is shining uh, we're in an all inclusive two week luxury hotel courtesy Ooh. of the guys at Bella Lux yeah, we are here we are living it up we've got two mojitos on the way yeah. oh, is that a polar bear selling me a drink Kevin oh, oh, that is amazing Mason, man. Thank you very much. They're actually in the South Pole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping me calm. Uh, excuse me, can I? Uh, my, my. <laughs> well, actually. <laughs> nah, but man, look, it's lovely up here. The sun is scorching. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You know, they are saying they are bringing out... Pff, I'm hearing huge rumours that Way, uh, Wayne Lineker's coming up here. Yep. Gonna look at a bit of land. Maybe we can get ocean, uh, ocean ice. Ocean ice. No, Ocean North Pole. <laughs> Aye, Ocean North Pole. It's going to be amazing. You know, it's it's the new place to be. It is. Um, the ice caps are melting around us as we speak, Jamie. We've got Thomas Cook Villas popping up everywhere here, haven't they? It's the new hotspot. It's the new place to go. Um, so, <laughs> hey, we are here for it. Um, at the more places I can go on holiday um, and exploit workers, mm-hmm. the better. And kill local avin- animals. and Kill the, kill, kill the wildlife. Mm-hmm. And, you know, forest a bit deforest i would say almost you know i wouldn't say selfishly but i would say just enjoy myself you know um just really at the, at the expense of others actually and that is you know it's always that bit sweeter jamie uh, when it's a when it's almost like you know the forbidden fruit jamie uh, when you know that the person who's uh-huh. made your sixth margarita this morning uh-huh. can't feed their wains just that but they do a good margarita that that's what i'm saying baby that. so you've got to appreciate it man but what have you got to show me? You got the picture? Oh, you look so happy, bro. Like, oh, this is my We've overall. We've got a flair. We've got a flair, everybody. <laughs> but that was, that's embarrassing. And you, that got was a ca- you got an embarrassing caption? 2019. Eh, uh, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, it's it? not even that bad. It's just Alfredo, 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 Alfredo. Because mind that Celtic game that he... <laughs> Kept was this last season, bro? 2019 or something. I was like, uh, that's no you in 2019. Uh, Show me that again, mate. Uh, what you think it? That, that wee man. Ah, right. That looks so old. I think because I've never seen you be hell like that, mate. Aye, aye, never so once. Well, I'm undercover cop, didn't I? But you look like <laughs> you actually date, mate. See if I've seen you walking about. I would be like Peter Boozer in that. Aye, hundred <laughs> percent, man. It's a cunt with a Canada goose. It's a plain black jacket, mate. Polis, uh, undercover Polis. Like, this is the thing. The first time, like, now they go into, like, raves and that and just, like, walk about and try and catch cunts selling yeah, shit. Yeah. Aye, because i seen it. We were at um, Riverside about, this is, like, a good few years ago, maybe four, five years ago. We were at Riverside, and I remember this cunt pure bouncing next to us, and they had, like, a fucking Angus t-shirt. It was like, I love drugs or something. <laughs> up here. Look at this cunt, man. Do you know what I mean? It was, like, the most obvious. It was, like, that way, a super dry jacket in it. I was like, look at this cunt, man. And do you know what it is? But it's not even, like, the attire or whatever. It's the energy they give off. They give off a mad polis. It's if, like, I should not be in here. Do you know what I mean? They give that energy off. Mate, do you know what would be spectacular? Imagine... Somebody that you know that's a mad that goes to raves all the time, loves getting tripped and all that. Imagine they were like, oh, so we've got a new job, undercover copper. All the days, I'd go to, go to Creamfields next I week. I'm getting paid to go, no? I'm getting paid to go there and just sitting and you see an undercover copper. I am an undercover copper, by the way. It's all good, but you have to, man. Imagine that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> tripping at his nut, man. Let's go, cool, man. It's happening, man. But they're everywhere, man, these undercover coppers. But. I know, we're back again, mate. Aye. And um, mate, I actually wanted us to watch something. Aye. So I've got a wee, I've got a wee, I'll send you it, Joe. Aye. Mate, I found this the day. We just need to see this, mate, because it's, it's very, you know what street beef says? You're about to know. I do not. Right, we've got fucking the M- Mr. Mud here, man. Let's watch this shit. Mr. Mud, 5'8", 130 pounds out of Roanoke, Virginia. 50 years old, still going, baby. Fenro. I am 140 pounds, <laughs> and I'm here. And I'm here. We got a boxing match for you. In this corner, we got Fenro. You might have seen him on TikTok with the Cleto Reyes shorts. You already know. And in this corner, we got Mr. Mud, 
Uh, two, three and one, three and one. Mate, that channel's got like three, nearly three million subscribers on YouTube. Hi, is it illegal? I don't know, man. Scarface stories. And come to your boys. You guys want some free music promo? Come through. Mate, there's certain states I think that have got like a mad thing. Like, if two two poles see two guys fighting, like they don't need to break up. No, that's like a. Good luck, fellas. Work hard. What about the man? Here's the fight, mate. We went over the rules. Do you guys have any questions? Who jinxed who jinxed it? Big Heron. Big Heron. Who you enjoy? You've been seeing us. Evan, I'm in the show. What can I say? I'm here. Get him, Roger. Let's go. Let's go, Roger. Get him, Roger. Roger. Get him, Roger. Get him, Roger. You can get up and me. He's not here anymore. <laughs> Mr. Mud's undefeated. Don't challenge me. There's another one if you watch, watch the other one. If you've seen him in the street, you wouldn't have, like, see if you say to him, if he worked with you or something, right, that wee old guy, and you done what you did this weekend, mate? And he was like, oh, just punching fuck out cunts and I ring in the park, mate. You would never believe him, wouldn't you know? Mate, that, would, that, that shit, like, only, like, to that scale happens in America. Like, Aye. What about, like, Traveller, um, bare knuckle fights and that? That's a mad thing. Aye. Aye that, there is, I mean, well, look at, even, like, there's a, there's a professional bare knuckle league. Aye. Like, uh, bare, knuckle, really? bare knuckle champion, mate. In the UK? I uh, mean, like, um, like well-known cunts have fought. Like, people go, f like, see cunts that are maybe on, on the end of the run and on the UFC, like, getting me a wee bit old and that, but, like, why I still get paid decent, they'll, like, go to that and, like, and fight on it bare decent, knuckle. Eh? I mean, there's, like, fate. No, well, I think they get paid more than they would if they were in, like, this a small MMA promotion because they're a UFC name. Aye. But I thought aye. that was just Russia and shit, though. Mate, like, no, no, mate, it's, like, no. Is that thing? But, aye, let's see another fight. Right, let's go. Benro. That's the same cunt. 155. Height. One, um, height, 6'3". <laughs> and the reason for that, he's talked about my family, and I don't put up with that. Oh, it's a brother right, or something. Right, there you go, Chris. 6'3", 210. No, this guy and talked about his family. Fight, so fight. No, it's him. It's him again. We all different we ways. We got us a little TikTok beat. <laughs> he grew three inches since the last fight. TikTok. I don't know a lot about it. My son he was runs our TikTok pounds, channel. Yeah. That's but these two he somehow made the beef see? on TikTok. Oh, I don't think much bigger than him. But. Is he a big guy? So we're gonna let him solve it. One I like more this time. guy. He's got a bit of class about bit of authority. Yeah, yeah, like that. Finro. He'd be raving up in the club and waiting, yours, <laughs> waiting for deals. Aye, definitely. And no show, Chris. Finro versus no show, Chris. For all the TikToks. Buddy show. <laughs> He's Big man's got it. Hey man, you guys want to touch him up or y'all beefing or can you yeah, good? You that ready, man? Like my command. You ready? You Chilly ready? Guy. Let's go, bang time. See when I used to play. Uh, oh, did you ever play oh, UFC? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh he's down, man. He's already there. <laughs> I know. Mate, so, so put it back, Joe, right? Start it, start it again, like, for... Maybe try and get, like... You ready, my man? Right. Obey my command, you ready? Aye, so, like, look, ready? the cut just stood Let's still, right? And it's as if he hits him, and then he just All spawns in. <laughs> Wait, do you see that? It's crazy. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> that was like... He was in the clothes, man. Aye, aye, aye. Did you ever play oh, UFC? Ah, I loved it, bro. It's it's so good. But UFC 2, mate. Yeah, UFC oh. 2 is a perfect game, man. But see, the like when you touch gloves at the start, I would always go to touch gloves and take a mad roundhouse kick, a <laughs> back heel kick. You know what I mean? Snake like, no day at me. I was not honourable at all. See, uh, fight night was that the first fight one? night champion, mate. That Brilliant. Is that game. no boxing? Aye. Aye, aye, aye. aye. I was fight. A... MMA, no. Yeah, no, I loved one of the games. And then UFC 2. UFC 2. I still. I, I think it was up to like. Until I got a PS5, I had that on my PS4, still played it in that. Oh, it may... I may get it again, actually. Uh, mate, it, mate, we should keep... We can't even play it. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, can we can online. play against each other, but, like... You can play online or not? But, like... I want to go Trash on a, top. I want to go on a team. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what happened oh, to the... That's like you at five or sides this week, I know, bro. Again. Mate, so I... Might I be in my team. It was numbers. You picked them, but... We picked them, actually. Like, I had my back up, turn, bro. That could have been a setup. I had my back turn, bro. Um, but I always want to talk to you about something today, mate. Right, okay. So this YouTuber that I like, right, he's only got like 50 
1k subscribers, right? It's no pure massive, but it's, he's in America. But I found it like, know how, see, when I was at uni, I pure loved, I wanted to do city planning. So, like, know how, like, planning out a city and, like, the way it should run for, like, congestion or I love shit like that. Do right? you, I just, like, that's mad. I'm mad geeking, you know what I mean? Like, that Mate, was... that's interesting, though. I like that shit. But, um, so, I, this guy, like, I seen him a couple of years ago. He did a video on Medellin, see the mad mm -hmm. uh, Colombian Aye. capital. And I was like, this is cool. He was taught about, like, the way, like, st stuff flows and that. But I didn't even realise. What, and I, was he saying it's good or bad? I was saying, like, he was ranking them. He was saying, like, he was going into a map and then going into Google Mate, that is heavy interesting. It's a pure, he's a pure good channel, mate. But I found the day, just randomly on his things, he did Glasgow three years ago. Oh. And it's like, Glasgow more than meets the eye, right? And I was saying like how it's like set, set out. It's like the very similar to New York and Barcelona, like the grid system uh, and that. But then it was saying, but usually you would get that in flat spaces, like Glasgow's uphill. So how does that work? Uh, and then he went down to the ground and he was just talking about like, see, Sucky Hall Street. That's he was saying Sucky Hall Street, Buchanan Street, and Argyll Street are technically parks, and that's the way other cities would use a park to pass through to the oh, next park. That's man. fucking interesting. But it was like that's in, smart, man. In Glasgow, there's just trees up streets. The trees, uh, the the streets are extra wide. There's benches everywhere. It's like that's a park. That like in <sighs> city planning terms, and that. So it was pure cool, and it was talking about like how it, it's a pure funny. Like I, I screenshotted this because I thought it was funny to have in this mad American civil engineers YouTube channel, right? But look. Part two. Calton. Calton. <laughs> what is he saying about Calton? <laughs> so he was saying he was getting mixed up with like, see, just entering past Trongate, like, mm -hmm. like uh, Gallagate and all that, and like even parts of the tune. He was saying that was Calton, but I just thought it was funny. Oh, right. And uh, he was talking about like, he um, was like, but when you go through to the area of Calton, He's like, in, Kelton. In, in other cities, they, this should be a metropolis, with the, but it's not. It's just a place for for low-rent condos, and he's planned <laughs> on to mad flats in Kelton. Oh, that, my mate. God. It was funny, but um, I ended up getting on my rabbit hole of, like, stuff in Glasgow, right? And I was just watching. Do you know how that way, like, I was in work, and I was doing paperwork, and it was, like, what I've always had autoplay on YouTube, and it was just got to the next thing, then the next mm -hmm. thing. And um, it went to, like, fucking just, like, the, uh, videos about like Glasgow history and all that, but then there was one about like the secret tunnels underneath Glasgow, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And I watched this full video, mate. There's at uh, there's Is like it no way at Central, not no, no, but like under George Square, there's bunkers, laboratories. I think if I feel health, like I've heard like, this, but, but I don't know anything about it. I found this article, mate, the untold story of Glasgow's secret tunnel network, right? In the heart of Glasgow city centre, you can discover something you would not be expected amid the hustle and bustle of one of Glasgow's main shopping centres. Buchanan Galleries in Glasgow's city centre has trans transformed the area and is known as one of the best shopping distances, blah, blah, blah. But little <laughs> did you know there's more to this area in, of Glasgow and meets the eye. Below the shopping centres is an array of secret tunnels running through the city centre that were used as bomb shelters, dial houses, lab laboratories and even emergency rooms. The small building located between the junction of Cathedral Street and North Hanover Street. So, do you know how they mad? See, if you were going past like uh, Strathclyde Uni mm -hmm. and you're going in towards the town, then there's like Queen, Queen Street ahead of you, but you need to turn right up to like the bus station and that. Mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? Aye, aye, aye. There's like a wee, I pure, like, I've seen this and all, there's like a wee brick, like. We need to sack that, can't. <laughs> no, there's like a wee brick structure that's like a, a lift shaft down to these mad secret tunnels. Right. And it goes all the way underneath, see, to, in George Square. Underneath that, there's a big bunker thing and like nobody's allowed in it. And I found it because this guy... Why? What? What is it? I don't know, mate, it was... Uh, when fuck did... knows. It's like, like a mad... It's a it, secret. It, it was, <laughs> I, well, it was bomb shelter, so I presume it was like either World War Two or the Cold War or something it was built for. But the guy that was posting about it said like he had a job down there and he was like doing fixing shit like he's a spark and then there was somebody else commenting on it saying they like replace fire extinguishers for a living and they had to do it like every 10 meters doing this tunnel and then into these big chambers now and, and there's just nobody there but they're like well kept and shit that's so mad isn't it mental is that mate so um, it's just there, just in case Aye, so the, the tunnels Just in case in, it kicks off. In case something happened, mate, but who's going to be In case me and you there? come down and put it on some kids, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need to have a bunker ready, mate, because see if Evan Riley Aye. puts it on you, it's, it's hard to recover for you. So the tunnels are extremely long and estimated to run all the way from Traffic Island Cross, I don't know where that is, Glasgow's renowned Royal Infirmary, in addition to run down underneath the lines at Subway, Queen, uh, the subway lines at Queen Street Station, they kind of meet up with them. Um, 
Walking distance to the Buchanan Galleries, these amazing tunnels were built to withstand nuclear bombs and were home to a network that facilitated Cold War phone calls. See? They were built across the UK as far as London and Manchester. The telephone network of tunnels were, were so well built that the whole of Glasgow had been destroyed. The telephone network would remain as a communication mechanism to those in London and other areas of the, the UK. Well, it's good me and Evan anyway. Right. You're a bit fucked up at Tin Town, man. Too far away. Oh, I I see you <clears throat> the corner. Me and Joe were saying, mate, me and Joe were actually discussing this in the car over. So I go pick up Joe and the lovely Royston, the the beauty, the beauty. Um, what is it, the Garngard? The Garngard. I was saying the Garngard there is very different because I was saying any time I'm driving through Royston or in Royston or whatever, no matter like who it is, what age they are, could feel like f- feel like eight to about forty five. They cunt looks like they would bat an eyelid that ain't you ever done. Like, as in, so like, see, like when you drive, like may, maybe like we guys are crossing the road and you like drive around your motor, like other places we guys would be like, ah, look, run away. Like the cunts on Royce and are just like looking at you like, mm, what, mate? Aye. Like, I get like for any age of people, but Joe had a theory on this. Uh, I can't remember what I said. Do you know? <laughs> no, wait, was it good? You were saying, no, wait, I, I was talking about like no, Roman you were, shit. No, I, you were talking about like. You're always talking about <laughs> Roman shit. No, you were talking about like being able to walk into the town, gives you a mad oh, arrogance. Aye, aye, aye. Aye. If wait, you're close to me. the town, man, you've got you've get power overall. If you're a wee dick living up at Tin Town, that's pure. Oh, you need to get a wee bus and all that. It's like you feel you probably lose it. You feel I a loser, mate. Because see, even like in Springburn, you think for Springburn. Hard man town, right? Oh, it's a bit of a hard man but town. See, whenever I've been at Joseph's and he's like, we'll just walk into the tune and see him all walking under like mad underpasses, they mate, and I'm always like, ah, and he's just like, as if uh, it's just normal. Do you yeah, is it breed? It well, does breed out I'm starting to, I would say, but am I getting, am I getting the city centre machismo? I would say a wee bit. Aye. Aye. I'm, uh, I've walked into town a good few times now, and honestly, mate, uh, mate, um, how would I say half hard? I would say ha- the whole walk, um, from from takeoff to landing. Yet yeah, I'm thinking, I'm a city boy. I'm uh-huh. a city kid. I'm living the dream. I feel like going selling lemonade and then maybe pickpocketing. A, who Aye. knows a rich white lady? Aye. I, I busking. I feel like I feel like just taking in the city. I feel like going down to George Square and just causing it. To be honest, Aye. but I do think it breeds a certain type of arrogance in a person being able to walk to and from the city centre. But I I said to Joe about this, and I was saying, that's a real thing, mate, because, maybe no here, right, but, see, when I was teaching in Vietnam, right, Ho Chi Minh, the middle, so like, the white works in Ho Chi Minh, it's huge, right? Yeah. So it's like, 13, 13 million people in one city, right? So it's fucking massive. And the way they split the city up is in district, so like, the city centre, the absolute centre, will be district one, right? Mm-hmm. And then for that, you get like this, so like the outer bits, that'll be like two, three, four. And then you get ones that are like just names like Tan Bin, Bin Tan, Bin Chan, uh-huh. like um, Tan Fu, like ones like that are out there as well. But the main ones in the middle, like it goes one, two, three, it's then like Dublin, it'll... Dublin, innit? They've got districts. Oh, do they? Aye. Aye, aye. But aye, it's like districts to split up. But see when, uh, so district one is like the fucking that's where all the fucking class shops are all the best restaurants every night see when you're teaching there the kids are compared to kids in like maybe fucking oh, tan fu fucking miles away right they, that are like no as it no as like far into like the rich parts of the city the kids are, have a total different even, even when they're like three four five they have a different like demeanor like they act like a mad way like if they don't get something, like, say you're playing a game and they don't get a shot yet, they're like, what the Aye. fuck? Like, they're, they're like, Mate. bold as fuck. But then you go out and the closer you get to, like, the farm areas, they're like, oh, like, they're dead calm. And, like, it is, it's weird how you reflect your upbringing that quickly. Aye. You, you can see that, kind of, like, um, you always hear stories about, like, child actors being pure wee adults near enough. Like, Aye. pure, like, have you got that tea yet? No, like, 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 seven, like, Millie Bobby Brown, no, you know what I mean? Well, even... <laughs> Shout out Millie. <laughs> Shout out Millie, we know you're listening. <laughs> no, but like even when uh, Paul Morris was on here, he was saying like they were like hoping that the kids like he had the the movie Angry Young Men. Uh-huh. So like in that movie, there's like a set of kids that are playing them as when they are like yep. the main characters are younger. So he was saying like when he was getting them, 
on the set and that he was like I hope they're all right and, right. They're, and they came on and they were actually like more professional than fucking them if you know what I mean like they were pure I fucking like they were like completely sound and like it, it, it is weird they need to they need to mature so quickly to adapt in like a mad adult environment but that fucks hunters of them up man mm-hmm. aye like they need it's, aye, it's like getting flung in at the deep end aye you need to be an adult aye. it's such a young see, age see talking about I was just thinking I was thinking about this today right see Wayne's right do you know how the pure like th- this is going to sound bad, mate? Right, but I'm surprised there are no more. <laughs> I can't even say it, man. I was thinking about it the day, but so Wayne's like, see, no, no, every Wayne, but a lot of Wayne's pure ruin their mom and dad's life, right? Mm. Like all our dreams are out the window. We gave up everything to raise this we can, and all it does is like shite and snot are everywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm just surprised there's no more child deaths. What's the model here? I know, just like pure, I just <laughs> left him in the bin. The I just flung him away in the bin. I'm no looking at that thing anymore. I fuck it. Like, why does that not happen there? This is an absolutely great advert for... I give it Jamie. Jamie Kelly's Wayne will grow up and watch him. That's like, <laughs> no. They just piss and fucking shit. No, but I, I'm sure he... Did Jamie know, see, when I get one, I'm putting it right in the bin? Aye. Mate, you no, babe. I'm not. No, right. but so I you get, get you. You get Wayne's that are like I presume us three. I presume most people are like sound Wayne's, but you get just to be ungrateful cunts that like their ma has like left medical school to bring up, and I just I'm surprised there's no. Do you know, Hank? Cunt, I like I know what you mean. I know you don't want the children to die. Let's no, clarify that, Jamie. I, I love but, children. What about this? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, 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 can we get a, a slow mo repeat on what he just said there? I love children. Right. <laughs> That's how you better. A bit of crud. Carry my fucking jumper, boy. Use your manners, please. Carry that. I would have. I would punch <laughs> fucking. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> oh, Maddie. <laughs> oh, me. I fucking woke him up for a fucking dollar. <laughs> Mad cunts are just talking <laughs> noises. Mate, there was a cunt in my work. He used to, Joseph knows him. I know he's, he was called Banger, right? Shout out to some guy, right? But he Banger? Only, uh, he, he, cause, why? Cause Tell me a, why. Because he was a banger. Everybody was just a cunt's a banger, so he just started getting called Banger. But How much is it a banger? He said it's because he had a gun or something. Uh, he said it, 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 oh, when yeah. people ask him, he goes, shot somebody. <laughs> 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 But as a joke, he's a sound. He's sound as Scott, right? But uh, does he sound at me? Banger. <laughs> How much of a banger do you need to be to actually end up with that nickname? It's merely a banger, like a comedy banger, though. Like it had false teeth, and he used to go and pop them out and all that, and he was like daft and shit. So kind of like a banger, right? Like, lovable banger. Oh right, aye. Right. <laughs> but he used to only speak in like, see, like he was obsessed with scran and that right so he used to bring in like kebabs the next day that now like one of them whips out a kebab in the in the boffy uh, heats up dawn meat and all that and you're like oh that's barking he used to do that all the time but then i would go out he'd be sitting eating something pure disgusting i'd be like that good and he would just go oh <laughs> like that was how he communicated how good shit was see he was a pure big rangers fan right now i'd be like Did you enjoy your game and he's like, oh damn it fucking broken man <laughs> it's just spoken like expulsions at air do you know what i mean i like, <laughs> like, puffing, like that's his mate that is almost i mean i did study the neanderthals <laughs> and i did study the de- denisovans i studied homo erectus mm-hmm. sapiens you did and that is like how the first early humans communicated from <laughs> just sort of like noises no like, <laughs> no i was thinking right Grunts. think about this trips right like actually like think about this for a second right so uh, just think about our like dna right we are like these animals who like if i feel hungry then i eat then i feel better and if somebody's been nice to me i feel good and if somebody's been bad to me hurting me i feel bad right Mm -hmm. very simplistic understanding receptive i so why are why is anything funny how can something like that two people just day make us like chuckle like why is that a response we have because it's not required Evol- evolutionary speaking there's no really reason for it is there no because like we don't need it you don't need to laugh to survive right but it's an instinctual uh, right so like see if i see if i go to like punch you right like do that right you would you would shite yourself bro i know that you crumble <laughs> uh, but see if i done that right your instinct is to be like right i'm gonna get hit so i'm now gonna like 
trying Aye. to defend myself. So how can pe- two people, how can you read something and go, <laughs> like, but you're, you're not trying to Aye. laugh. Why is that? How can that? Uh, is monkeys that laugh. Monkeys do laugh. Aye, but, but what? Uh, what? Have you ever seen the What are they all laughing at? Have you ever seen the video? Aye, the videos of the monkeys, like you do that with a ball and you do that thing, like with the cups, and then you open it and the ball's not there and they're like, <gasps> they get a pure and they start I, mate, pushing themselves. I, no, I get, I get that we do it, but I'm like, I, I don't know why. I don't know. understand how, how air time that that's grew, grown into us to be laughing. Like, when was the first laugh, Joe? Pull that up. I'm just about to pull up. Why Why do we laugh? I bet I, that is a guaranteed Vsauce, isn't it? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. And today, we are going to talk about humor, comedy. What makes something funny? And when something's funny, why do we laugh? What's the purpose of laughing? And why do we Tell laugh us, when we're tickled? Well, people study this. They're called gelotologists. And we don't have all the answers yet, but what we oh, do know love is that you are 30 times more likely to laugh if there are other people around. That's true, mate. Very true. We also know that babies laugh before they learn a language, and that babies born blind and deaf will laugh. There are thousands of languages, hundreds of thousands of dialects, but yet we all laugh in much the same way. <laughs> Our brains are constantly looking for patterns, ways of understanding the world and predicting what's next. It's to our evolutionary advantage. And so when something begins in a way that we expect, and then all of a sudden changes and surprises or delights us, we often react with laughter. Why did you know just tell me that, bro? I know I learned something. We've learned a new logical order. This theory posits that things are funny because there's an incongruency between what we expected and what happened, whether it's a dog dressed like a human Aye. or a clever Mate. use of wordplay. In other words, comedy is about no, see that learning. like what he's saying. But about, once you've learned it, the like, see what he's saying about that. Um, like it's like the old the old uh, bait and switch Aye. Kind of comedy like that. Like this is a normal thing. Go off and I'm mad. And it's a shock reaction in your brain. That's a mad Aye. nervous hang on. It's like whoa. What? That's pure my type that. of humour. See if I was to describe my humour, I would say it was like pure absurd shit. Like shit that makes you go oh. Like is Aye. that a surprise? Not I mean? mate. Do you know what I was thinking as well when I was thinking about this? Like why is people fawn funny? You know what I mean? I like somebody if you're slitting. I'm like, actually um, empath, so I don't find that yeah, funny. Yeah, I don't actually <laughs> think that's funny at all. No, there was a video that I actually put on, I think I sent it into the chat, mate, that I wanted to watch, and it's a cunt phone. Did you see the cunt phone? <laughs> Ruined like a one of the bollards in like a tune. I don't know if it was Glasgow or something, but <laughs> no, mate. No. Did you send it in? Uh, I'll just get it up and all right. See, before you go into this, I used to think that I would. You ever seen like now, like the omen, right? And it look the, 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 the wee guy looks at something and it pure dies and shit, right? Aye. I used to like have this thing for about five years, mate, where if I was walking by like a wee guy or a lassie on a bike or something and I looked at them, they would fall mate. half it. Do you know what I used to do? And I used to think I really like... Mate, do you know what I used to do when I was a wee guy? Which is heavy similar. I used to stare at the telly and try and make cunts make mistakes. See, like, newsreaders and that, I'd be like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> That's pure similar, I, And a pure weird like, thing you do. I used to be like, if I watch, like, Jeremy Paxman for enough time, he's going to make a mistake. And then, like, like oh, you're, put, it, you're putting it on him, mate? I want it. I, I put it on him virtually, bro. I, I you like, not even... Telepathically. <laughs> what kind of stare um, are you getting these wee lasses no, to fall after? No, 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 no. Oh. This is what I need to get. Let's clarify this. Let's get the lawyer in, Lee Sutherland. Come on. Woo, woo. No, but what I'm saying is, mate, like, it's no... So you've got me mistaken here. I'm no looking at them to cause them to fall. I'm like... I'm, I go to a stage where I wasn't looking at them, so that they wouldn't fall. Do you know what I mean? Like... Oh. I, like I would just have a like see if like I would look right and then uh, say like uh, they were going by in the bike I would look at them right and as soon as I look at them mate they would just fall off it it wasn't me trying to make them fall they just it was as if I had a curse mate and right. I would look and I'd be like oh and I'd get in the house at night pure scratch at my head pure stupid right. stupid no. <laughs> mate it happened in mate Re- Reykjavik me and Erin are walking back up and fucking this wee guy's in a scooter happy as hell and be like, ah. and it, mate I was just yeah. now that way I'm looking at him like oh no I know how we this man, we man, I know, I'm like here. every time it happened but I was like surely no and mate this wee guy fucking air the scooter handlebars pure scudded his face off the ground he was about 80 like, ah. now that one when like you're, now that one when you bounce off the ground and then you get up and you're like I'm alright and then you, it hits you and all you're, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I <laughs> <on> your <laughs> 
I was like, oh, I'm like, wee man, you should not have. You, as soon as you should see me, you should have left. Mate, see, you're saying that way that you get up behind your fine. See, once and I was a wee guy, I pure, one of my earliest memories is like shaving, right? But like, I was like four or something and I pure shaved my full face and like nothing happened, right? But then all the cuts just opened their hands, <laughs> and just started pushing blood. And I was like, ah! And then my mum came up like, what are you doing? Hunters are wee minuscule cuts, but I'm gonna show Micro you this. Cuts. This guy fawned me because I laughed so much at this all day when I seen it. <laughs> How does that even happen, mate? Look at this. How do you even get? He can't even get it. Look at the configuration he's got his legs in, mate. That's insane, man. How did he? How does mate, he? Look, look play, his pals laughing. Play mate. that for the start, mate. I, I want to see him trying to triumph, but. <laughs> Well, he's pal knowing help. He's on the phone, mate. I think it's just a mad random guy, I know, because at the start, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I watch it again. Aye, sure. Do you want to see how he ended up in it? You see that? <laughs> so he's no, he scans. It's a baller. Like, he's ran into a baller. His scans were already done, and he fell for some reason. But then watch, look, this mad random cunt's walking by him, and he's on the phone, and he just stops to pure piss himself laughing. <laughs> mate, that's yeah, the funniest man. thing ever, man. Yeah, that's, that's the cargoes, by the way. I've noticed that. Aye, cargoes. They kind of done a bit at the pelvic area. Aye, they kind of yeah. come down a bit. Aye, Joseph's low, low jo hanging fruit. Joseph's just got cargoes and he's pure like loves a cargo. He, he was like, ah, you should get a pair of these, and it's like the only trousers I've been wearing for about five years. <laughs> <laughs> so he's pure trend setting them, pure they old trousers. The culture vulture. <laughs> you, you need to move with it, man. Not against it. Right. But um, <laughs> the the people at the Patreon. And this is what you get with the Patreon, man. You I, get to, like, decide the way the episode goes. I was wanting to sing a song to them. Go. One love, one heart. Yes, man. So, that's for the patrons. Like, think about it. You actually will get stuff like that. Like, that's pretty insane, yeah. But um, every time it's just me and Jamie in the podcast, we say to the Patreon, what the fuck do you want us to do, man? You tell us. And they've, they've told us some stuff. So... First one is Jay, and he wants to know, I think we could just battle through this quite, right. qu like, we'll have a wee think about it, but then, so SPFL table predictions. Right, this is Ross County's year. <laughs> They're going right to the top. No, um, Should like, we do first, first, second, second, third, third? Aye, right, let's, let's do, do that. that. I think, um, I think Selick are going to retain the title this year, mate. I do. I think they've. Uh, I don't want us to turn into a football podcast, mate. But keeping like their best players and that, keeping Jota, keeping Vickers was was good. And I do think I said the second season under Ange. That's what they said, they said in Japan. That's a, it's a that's, a that's a good one. So you still our own creme cre de la creme, bro. You <laughs> still our own. I think Celtic, mate. What about you, Jink? I think I, I, I th obviously I think I'll go Celtic as well. I think. The new it, it looks like Celtic are a team that knows how each other play. They know where each other's going to be. They know there's a system. They mm -hmm. know Rangers have brought in a lot of new players. Obviously, right. it happened with Celtic last year, but you know we, we we landed like a bit of a jackpot in terms of I think there's maybe maybe two players you could say that we signed that didn't work. I mean, McCarthy and Idaguchi. That's right. it. And and the rest and have the been. The only reason they didn't work was because the centre mid was so like. Aye, they never had to get. That I game. didn't get a chance either of them really. But Rangers have signed that Tillman who I think is a fucking. He looks good. good he player, he looks man. a good player, man. And um, they've still got Kent and that, so they've got dangerous. Oh players. mate, look, I think anybody, if they're being honest, will admit it's going to be fucking close again. There's no way. I don't think mate, anybody's going just, to run away from it. Speaking about that, right? I was listening to Super Scoreboard that week. Don't. Ask why, right? No, I can't remember, but I was listening to that. Don't mind Super Scoreboard sometimes. But someday, I was like, Roger Hanna said, like, hey, it's going to be, be a coin toss for the for who wins the league. And I was like, fair dues. A Rangers fan went on and was like, do you seriously believe that? <laughs> oh do, my you, God. do you think it's going to, we've signed them, we've signed this, we've done this, that. And it was pure, like, actual, couldn't believe that the team that won the league last I year. I could, or even in the running. <laughs> <laughs> could be close. What are you talking about? Mate, there's cunts like that, mate. Aye. There's cunts like that. I bought it up to a boy shout at Alan Saunders if he's listening. Right. Mate, you would come in and like, Rangers had lost like five and a half and But mate, see if, we, see if we converted that one in the first half, mate, it would have been a different game in that. Aye. You're like, all right, right man. Fourth was never a penalty, no? Aye. Aye, but, um, but I, I've like, actual respect to the Rangers fans that have just pure, like, Doing it, Peter Heed away and all that, and like for pure years, mate, like selling out crowds in there. But see the ones would not be me, yeah. My, some of my pals, I didn't even know they sported Rangers, mate. Oh, until last year, mate. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There is a lot of that out there, but yeah. I do. I think as well with Rangers, like any time. I, I mean, this has got a long season, but 
obviously, I will second. I'm going to go Rangers, right? Aye, Reason sure. being because I just think that the players they've brought in, it's a lot of new players to get a system that's going to beat Aye. Celtic one, system. You know what I mean? Aye. Because the thing about last year was Rangers' system and the, the way that worked was kind of... Not even though they they go to like Europa League final on that, right? But that was like the end of that team system. Do you know? Aye, hundred I mean? percent. Like they had done that for three years. They'd done something. their cycle. It was like the same players week in, week out. Aye. Like, and that's that's how they. I think that's how they ended up. I mean, Celtic were horrendous that COVID season, but that that was like them just sort of peak, like getting to their peak. You know what I mean? Like that season was just you just knew it was that way. Like even even when like Celtic were like. G- pathetic but they were still in like it's no mathematically done any rangers game that came on you're like they're gonna win Aye. it was one nil and within yeah. about 15 minutes and like most of their games it was actual mental some of that sometimes because like i was watching like selic games and i was like under lennon and that and it was like just the worst games of football i've ever seen it put me half watching celtic i, I would mate. turn on rangers mate and it would be pure slick passing uh, and i'd be like because obviously i've grew up where I'm at, like, year at even Rangers been doing the leagues and that, as I say, isn't it? So I've grew up with just Selic being the best team. Aye. And pure fuck man up. Like, what's going on? Aye, like, this is the right. <laughs> but I think it's so funny, and I was saying this to people in my work and that, like, when we're talking about football, it's so funny how, like, right, me and you can actually step back for it and go, right, fucking, all right, we think they're the bad guys and they're we, they get everything and all that shit, but we can look at it and go, right, all right, maybe at times there's a wee bit of fucking Tom Fuller, but we're like, it's just like two teams that just don't like each other. Like it's right. no, but like there's people who genuinely are still in the phase behind that where they really think like, no, they are the evil team. Like right. they, no, they are the bad ones. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's I like, like it, a weird. It's, it's like it's pure set in stone. I right. like no, like that's the way it is. It's no, they don't understand. It's just their perception of things. Right. Do you know what I mean? I think that's just like it's a pure like West of Scotland thing. Like see, right. see, obviously Australia is a bit different. Like it's not football's not in the main sport there. But like see, how there it was just like oh. Perfect. Oh, you fucking you know, but then they were talk they would talk about like Brisbane Rob being like, Oh, they're a great team. I'm gonna take my boy to watch them not. It was pure nothing like <laughs> near rivalry at all, which it, fuck that. But, Aye, no, actually, that just makes it fucking that's fucking uh I, I do like the It's flaccid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it is, mate. It's semi soft. It's semi I not semi hard, semi soft. But do you want to just rattle through, Jay? So third, I think Aberdeen have been doing well in pre uh, preseason and that might be them. But I'm just gonna stick with hearts. So third. Uh, I think Hearts will, Hearts will be third. I've got a strong team, man. Um, Aberdeen fourth, I think. I don't think uh, that Hibs... What's that new? He's got, they've got a new manager. Lee I don't Johnson. think he's really up to it. I think um, for fourth, I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Aberdeen. Right, and then Hibs, both of his probably. No, no. I'm no. going Dundee United. Aye? Mm-hmm. On you go, mate. On you go. Uh, that, who is it that's in charge of them? Um, so he's got a point out of six, mate. I don't know what that prediction's all about. Yeah, they just beat AZ Almar, mate. The, the, oh, so they did actually. That was a good game. The Arabs, the Arabs mate, are flying. The bro. wee Welsh cunt they've got and Middle Party scored against us. Aye, he's mate, good, did you see mate. the wee hang he done? It was like a wee Rabona. Aye, night, mate. mate. He, he, he looks a player, player, mate. Then, That's yeah. why I think, I, think they've, uh, I think they've bought well. And I think Jack Ross is all right. <laughs> Aye, yes. And yes. then I think, like, I'll just go with my full ones, right? So, uh, right, start again, right, Celtic, Rangers, uh, sorry, I'm just reading this, Celtic, Rangers, Hearts, um, Aberdeen, um, Dundee United, and then I'm going to go Hibs. <laughs> Mate, it's really hard, like, looking at the table and I then, know. like, trying to date right. your head. You've done the top six then, I'll do the bottom six, right? right. So then it will be um, St. Johnston, Kelly, fuck it. <laughs> Livingston, <laughs> Ross County, and then St. Mirren are going down there trash, man. <laughs> they are so bad, mate. Have you watched any St. Mirren games in the past? Like, Well, Motherwell, I watched Motherwell play, honestly, oh. the worst game of football. Like, I've never seen a professional team play as bad as they did against... Who was it, the uh, Irish team? Sligo Rovers. Sligo Rovers, mate. mate. Sligo Rovers worst, fucking spanked them, man. The worst, like, Scottish performance since... Uh, I felt embarrassed I didn't even support Motherwell. I was like, what's going mate, on here? Mind that, Alessio... No, the food place. Mind that Alessio was in charge of Kelly. Uh, he's mind a legend, bro. Mind that after that mad Welsh. Connor's Aye, mad, Connor's mate. That was like the mate, worst. Scottish teams just have a habit of just <laughs> turning up to Europe and be like, oh, no. Getting embarrassed, mate, I know. I know. But um, I think I'd, I'd think Hearts have got like European football after Christmas. That's like, shite. So, or the group stage football. So, hopefully, right, but that was the football section. Guys, do you want a haircut? Now, everybody needs a haircut from time to time unless you're bald and we really do feel sorry for all the baldies out there. R.I.P. R.I.P. to your hair follicles. 
But if you do need a haircut, there's only one place to go, guys, and it is... Where is it, Jamie? Tell us. It's Code Barbers. It is Code Barbers, and they are a delightful bunch of young men who are cutting hair on a daily basis. Guys, they've got two shops. One is in Duke Street. Um, the HQ, mm-hmm. what do you say? The yes. HQ, yeah. Yes. Um, Commander Cal is down there steering the ship um, every day. Um, we've got Reese the Hagman, uh, the Hagler, the, the... What can we say about Reese? The, the, the Straggler. The Strangler. The, we've got the Duke, Duke Street Strangler. <laughs> uh, exactly. Reese Haggerty down there um, giving, out, giving out mullets, giving out fades, giving out anything you want. And then over at Uddingston, I mean, we're talking South Lanarkshire, we're talking Evan Riley, hometown, <laughs> we're talking South Lanarkshire. Now, there's a lot of fine people in South Lanarkshire. There's a lot of, I'll be honest, there's a lot of um, bad people as well. Is there? Met a lot of bad guys in my time, Jamie, but then now's not the time to shine a light in that. If you're looking for a haircut in South Lanarkshire, I'll be honest, with them. you're in Glasgow, you've got a lot of choice, yeah. You've got your high enders, you're 30 quid a haircut, yeah. When you move over to South Lanarkshire, we're kind of kicked to the curb, guys. Okay? We're kind of shunned by society. And it's not fair. Not anymore, mate. <laughs> not anymore. Now, over at Uddingston, we have Mark the Henchman Hensman. Now, he's over there steering the ship in a gorgeous direction, yeah? He's treating the guys and um, some gals in South Lanarkshire to the finest haircut you can get. Now, let me tell you a bit about the Code Barber, boys. Some barbers you go into, right? And I find this in a lot of barbers, and you know what I'm talking about if you've ever been in a barber's. You ever been getting your haircut and the barbers are like, Ah, you see that bird that you smoke by here? Aye. Aye, shag any birds recently, Aye. mate? And you're like... Go and fucking just cut my hair, mate. I'm here for my hair to be chopped. Aye, I'm not here to listen to fake stories about you shagging birds. <laughs> I'm here to get my hair cut. When you, when you go to Code Barbers, Reese says to you, did you see that video about aliens that I said? Yeah. Aye, and that is what we want. We don't want to hear about fake stories about you shagging fake imaginary lassies. We want our hair cut. We want a peaceful environment. And we want to feel welcome and we joyful. Tea, a wee tea, a wee coffee. You'll get offered that as well when you go in the door. So guys, get on board. Get down to Duke Street. Get down to 117 Main Street. I do believe it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, Joseph, on the screen. And go and get your hair cut in Uddingston, Duke Street. You know, prime real estate. The boys are doing it. So go check them out. G4 will support you evermore. If you... Have a claim <laughs> to fame <laughs> or an accident, guys. A car accident's very serious. People have died in them at times. Like now, if you're a person that's died in a car accident and you're watching this, how the fuck are you doing that? Yeah, what's going on there? But yeah. to all the people that have survived, and maybe it wasn't your fault, guys. Maybe, maybe you know, there was a drunk driver, and we've all had a few of them. Jimmy Kelly being one, right? Every day. Every day he's drunk driving. So he one day he's gonna be on the receiving end of a phone call from G4 Claims. And look, the G4 Claims people are very nice, very welcoming. But they don't fuck about everything. But when it comes to the drunk drivers like James Kelly, James the gym man Kelly, we are talking nasty, ruthless aggression, right? You're gonna get somebody on the phone or go like that. What you been fucking dead? What you fucking crashing that cunt for? Not much you're gonna get I'm that pain for us. F- fucking drain you, mate. So, um, if you have been involved in an accident like that and you do want to get in touch with a company, you don't want your no claims bonus affected. Somebody's crashed into you. Come on, there's only one place to go. It's Jiva Claim. Everything you need to know about them is in the description of this video. We don't need to tell you anymore. If you get a wee bump, a wee roadside accident, there wasn't your fault. Then contact G4 Claims. Free process, and they're going to kill the other person. <laughs> Cheers. Can I just say, I've never drove drunk. Cheers. And they're not going to kill And they don't kill people. Did they? No, no. Is that no, no. Oh. No killing. Cut. Evan, mm-hmm. what kind of prizes of people, of the young people of Glasgow and abroad, and, ab- and beyond been winning recently with Belter Lux? Um, somebody messaged me on my private account and said they won a high-class prostitute, but I think it was a lie. Right, aye. And I think what really the, the, they're giving away is, you know, watches of the finest caliber, yeah. We are talk- we're not talking your Casio watches here. We're talking high-enders. We're talking five-figure watches here, we're, guys. We're talking money. Real money in the bank. Look, this is the thing, guys. Even we're talking about Belter Lux, right? See if you don't want to talk about money, just turn the podcast off, right? Mm-hmm. 
Aye. because they're giving away prizes that are just exceptional, guys. Um, they're giving away... But they just gave away tickets to Kevin Bridges, <sighs> tickets to Pillow Natini. Gold dust. All three Celtic kits, Ooh. all three Rangers kits, <sighs> AirPods. <sighs> um, yeah, so... Cold get, hard cash? They are just... Get, I mean... I mean, we all hear Clyde one. We all hear the cash register. Yeah, we're all waiting on the call. You don't need to wait on that, right? Enter belt alerts. Do you know what? Clyde one, lim- don't, they don't limit the amount of people that can oh, enter the cash register. About 250,000 people do that every day, I bet. Easy, right? Belt alerts limit the amount of people that can enter competitions. I mean, I think when I've been looking at the con- contests, there's sometimes been only 500 tickets sold Aye. for a £20,000 watch, mate. Aye, think of the odds of that, and the tickets are, like, very cheap. So they're going for maybe, you know, the higher end, the, the Rolexes tickets are, what, a tenner? Aye. Which does seem a lot, guys, doesn't it? Tenner, cost of living crisis, energy bills, sky high. But tell them what we're going to do for them, Jamie. Well, that tenner... You can just slice that in half, baby. No, don't do that, because then you can of use it. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I've tried that, two fivers, doesn't work, no, right? No, that's no 250 if you cut a five. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. But with our code, Riley's Gaff 50 that's R-E-I-L-L-Y-S-G-A-F-F-5-0, you can get 50% off any ticket you buy. Right. So if you want to enter in something that saves 750 quid straight to your bank, you could get that for 48 pence. 48 pence. What mail do you want for us? This cunt's annoying me. What do you actually want for us, mate? What are you even looking at, actually? What What have you been looking at this full time, mate? We're giving you everything. Haircuts. He's annoying me. He's annoying me, mate. Let's just. Competitions. (laughs) Rolexes. Evan. Cash. (laughs) Cash in your your bank. You just go to Riley's Camp 50 and check out. Continue to describe. Continue to You'll find on the website, not that. But aye, what else we got on the Patreon? We've got um, Stephen S wants to know uh, Edinburgh Fringe Festival on couple friends of the show are performing. You was going to it this year, been before. If so, seen anything you really liked and would recommend? Uh, well, shout out to the the, the blacks, the blacks um, performing live at the Fringe. I hope they do well. I'm going to see Mark Black. Are you? Me and Morgan are going through. Aye, beautiful. Um, I've been. I only went. I've only been once. It was to see Lummy, and it was like, were you there, Joe? I. It, it was, it was, it was Gilded Balloon Wine Barn that, it was like proper fringe, I think. But well, anyway, it was, it was prop, during the it fringe. It was proper it was, fringe. It was during the fringe yeah. anyway. Yeah, that was good, but it was like him like playing his vines. That was it, mate, it was just a big board with his vines on it. Yeah, Jamie like, asked a question, but it oh, was like, steaming, the guy man. behind him was the guy that he was actually talking to. <laughs> and he, I just kept shouting shit, me, shit me, but oh, was, oh, it happened about three times. I was, I was just shouting to him. I was like, how'd you come up with fucking... Oh my God, bro. It was one in a book, but so it was like, Mel, I wasn't like, how'd you come up with Dee Dee? Uh, <laughs> how, how'd that, bro? <laughs> imagine, imagine meeting my main ass and that's the one thing you ask. How did you come up with DZ? <laughs> it's like, yeah, like, fuck off, man. <laughs> I'm not even entertaining that question. Mate, you would literally just look and just walk by. You'd be, well, there's no answer. There's no answer. But, um, have uh, you been to Fringe, mate? Uh, no. No? Would you like nah. to go? No. What about if we were performing there? Do you think that would ever happen? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, no. No. Well, I, but look, would, I, would I like to go? Maybe I. That's good. Is it? Is that see, a beautiful event? See in the old top of the, the Seems mid- like a lot of hassle to me, mate. Glasgow Spiral, I was on, like watching videos about Glasgow. Was, but there was one Billy Conley was in, like, at the fringe, and he was talking about the old fringe, and he was like, so it was like bands and like comedians used to go out and perform in the street during the day, so that you could walk about and see who you liked, and you would go and see. That's them better, and isn't that. it? I mean, I was like, That'd be get it good. back, mate. Get it back to that, and Aye. I'll be fucking there. Aye, but I, think him I don't like the way it's been commercialised. That's yeah. what I'm actually standing against that. No. Just few me, also known as Scottish History Tours, made a video on it last oh, week. Oh, nice one. That would be Quite good to watch. Shout out to Bruce Yumi. We want him on. Come on, come on Bruce. Um, come on, Brucey. <laughs> come on, Bruce. Eat it, Bruce. Hey, Do you know, you know that Matilda? Bruce Bogtrotter? <laughs> yeah, eating yeah. the cake, mate. You can do it, Bruce. Get <laughs> Brucey Bogtrotter eating the cake behind his jaw. What was bad about the cake? Eat it. Aye, he's always said this. Is he it said because the cake she's disgusting? Nice? She comes out no, quite disgusting. Joe. The cake, what it's it's like those hairs on it. The cake, look at the cake, it's excessive. I mean, Brucey Bogtrot was a Brucey Bogtrot was a young man who liked excess, but even this was too far for and Brucey Bogtrot. Also, also, I think the head teacher or whoever it was, it was announcing it. If, correct me if I'm wrong, Evan, but I'm sure she said that 
Miss whoever the the cafeteria woman was put her blood, sweat, and tears into that. <laughs> that was and she it. came out sweating I, doing this and snorting in that. I'm sure it was that I know. That puts you off it. Oh, that, did mate. she know car to it and she was pure dripping or that? Wait, man. Aye. Sweaty bitch. Yeah. Aye, man. Fucking cow. <laughs> mate, do you know what? A, a chippy. I wouldn't name the chippy. The one I'm getting shut down. But I seen somebody sneeze and then bag up chips all day. When I was wait, I was going to ask order something. I imagine, like, oh, mate, that imagine they've got that to you, right? Imagine you're on the chip and they've got that to you. Salt and vinegar, and you've done that. Eh, and they just done. Oh, it's you. There you go. <laughs> Snort it, how was it before? What, mate? Snort and vinegar? Snort. <laughs> Snorting vinegar <laughs> and then sneezing it back. It's you. <laughs> there you go, man. That's what we're after, um, man. Really, but, but... Aye, Stephen, would you come? Would you come? I want. I want us to go there at one point Should and we... do something. No, in all seriousness, I would like to go to the fringe. I, I might come through, but didn't see Mark Black. Aye, mate. I'd have it. I was actually going to ask both of you. What day? What day is that again? It's like a Monday, mate. Mate, I'm after that, that week. I will come, mate, and you come and all. Do you want to go? It will be. I. I think he's, there's still tickets available. We'll Aye, we'll put we'll put the link in um, the description of this for video. For the friends of the show's shows. Let's but, go um, see Mark Black. Aye, that'll be fun, mate. Um, Steal all the jokes. He's <laughs> writing them. <laughs> Show something you get out of your laptop, Bill. This is nothing more than a mission, boys, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to fleece this man dry? Nah, we need to get Mark back on soon, mate. Aye, defo. Um, do you, have we got another wee question now? Tell us about the first time you smoked the sweet Mary Jane, baby. Oh, that was big J, thank you. J, double question, but we love it. Mate, the first time I ever smoked, I, I think I've smoked hash for the first time. I think that's like a thing that there was, was a lot of hash going about when I was like a young boy and uh, I was in Springburn. Obviously. That's the oldest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> there was a lot of hash going about, son. No, it, it, it was the way you ended it, bro. When I was a boy, <laughs> there was a lot of hash going about. That's like, the, that's like um, when you, you're getting stoned like, in your pal's gaff when you're young, but like you're in there because his dad gets bait, so it's like, all right, you know what uh, I mean? He's yeah. sitting, he's like, oh, I can't smoke all that green, no, that's fucking mental. Uh, I'm all right. Brick a pole. And he's got, he's got like two grammas back in it and one and spread a hash and he's like, that's your dummy man, not me. <laughs> Aye, but so I think it was like, back, back then when it was like, there was a lot of that stuff going about, uh, do you know what I mean? But you never had like, I didn't like it that much when I was a wee guy, right? Because it was like, I, I, this is what I think anyway. I think, I, I never discovered flavours. I never discovered the art of, it, it was just like, my, me and my pal would get like a score bit off a cunt. And we'd all go down and we'd be flicking mad burnt hash into a joint and smoking that and it'd just end up pure fucked. Uh, you know I mean, like, I remember, that enjoyable. Do you remember that story I told once about me being pure passed out in the greenhouse and somebody coming and picked me up because the police were there? Mm -hmm. They pure ran out like a mad Trojan uh, yeah. That was, that, I think that was the first time I ever smoked Oh, hash, so. it all adds up now, it mate. It all does, mate. Mate, I remember trips, you will know the famous TikTok superstar, Coops. Oh. And I was with Coops when I smoked my first bit of marijuana and then um, we were young men and it was me, him and um, another young man. And we were there, we were smoking a joint and I remember just, I, I just remember walking about feeling like I was in a a bubble. Like I remember I was with Coops as well the first time I ever had a bucket and... <laughs> he, he pulled it he's my like shaman mate he's like <laughs> fucking so he pulled it and i remember sucking it and i remember honestly the, the joint was like good but i don't think we'd rolled it right now but when i done my first bucket oh mate like i remember like i've i've been well oh, it's just it's crazy i remember like getting up for that and i was at doug hill and like if you know like dr if you know drummy yeah like where Doug Hill is, you walk down and then there's like a Tesco and there's like a big road that runs through it with like roundabouts and that. And I remember walking up that towards Tesco, the sun was shining. And I just remember being like, felt like, so I was walking by country, right? So like, obviously we're wee guys. So like when you're a wee guy, everybody's like, nah, did you ever get that way when you were a wee guy and you'd be like walking about and you'd see like other cunts for school that are hanging about walking about and you end up with them and like all this uh, shit yeah. like actually when you're like young and i remember walking about and we would see cunts right that we knew if it's school and that that we we should stop and talk to i remember we just were walking by and going ah, <laughs> like as if like we're watching the telly or something uh, yeah, and, like yeah. they weren't there with like, we're like, like, we're, like observing them like oh there's that cunt for school <laughs> like we're walking by and, going, my daddy, my daddy. and then look like, i just felt i was in my own wee but you universe almost for like five hours aye. and did you enjoy it the first time aye and i'll tell you another thing mate i remember this in our day the, the our data i remember right there's a point in time where i was we were day, when we would go in day buckets and in, in like the winter right there would be so like, I, I i we end up with a bunch of boys that we, 
we know, but we but didn't hang about a lot. And we're like, ah, right, we'll go do a couple of buckets or whatever. We're like, right, we'll go up to this bucket. It's in a shed, right? And I'm like... I love how you always had buckets spotted about everywhere. Aye, like, we, we knew where each one was, aye. not? But, like, he was like, we'll go, it's in a shed, right? And I'm like, it's in a shed, right? Good, blah, blah, blah. And nice I'm, clean bucket. I'm, aye, so I'm, I'm walking up in the coast, I'm walking, I'm like, how are we getting in in a shed? Like, it's no one of their sheds. How are we getting in a shed, it's right? In a shed. Uh, so it's in a shed, and I'm like, maybe it's some mad abandoned shed. And I was like, you don't get abandoned sheds. <laughs> uh, and then, you know what I mean? I'm just like, hanging, like, where are we going? And I remember there was like, it was like up in woods, then we had to, like, it was behind these hussies, right? And like, the like, that one jumped through, and I was like, are we get into somebody's garden, right? And they're like, aye, but it's sound, bro. And I was like, <laughs> what? It's sound? And he was like, aye, bro. Cunt works in the rigs, we know his schedule, mate, he's away for two weeks. Mate, we used to like bounce in this cunt shed when he was when he was at the rigs, take the bucket and all that, then take it like back out. And I don't know if this cunt ever found it. It was crazy, mate. I remember that's the lowest form of like burglary though, isn't it? In the shed. We were just taking taking a bit of life or something. Breaking, entering, and then chugging. there's so much you can do with that, but you're just in the shed. Aye, and the thing is, we did need there was no like the shed was open. There was like a hole in the gate, so I don't know if they had maybe sussed this out, that. and then it's like there's no like. Did you just, is it as as do you do the backs in canvas line? When need be, eh? Aye. But also, was it only? No, no, I, no, no, no. Did I know what you mean. Just the aye, the thrill of just aye. run. Aye, aye. Um, so I, I seen me guys doing that out my back like did, two days ago, mate. Did you, aye? Dennis and strong, <laughs> still going strong. Uh, it was brilliant. Like there was this wee guy and he was climbing there, all like the backs of the. It was like the backs of the flat, so it's not really like a back garden almost, but it's aye. like still is sort of these wee guys jumping there was not. They must have been about eleven, and I could see them more fade the flats. Yeah. Hurry up, get in the fucking ass! <laughs> and the big guy was going, fuck off! I was like, oh my god, this is fucking chaos, but that's what we live for, mate. That is, mate. That's the Glasgow way. That's what we call that. That's it. Um, but yeah, what else we got from Patreon? Ross Archibald wants to know paranormal encounters, anything you've seen or get story sent in. So. <laughs> We've no got story, story sent in, that's a shame. I could just read you a ghost story, Ross, if you want. And but, um... it was a scary night, <laughs> and a big guy came doing. <laughs> and then he was a ghost. <laughs> no, but I don't think I've ever. I am, um, like, see where I like grew up, right? It was a place called Forest Hall. Like, that was where I lived mainly when I was a wee guy. And uh, so Forest Hall used to be a hospital in Springburn, right? Cope Forest Hall Hospital. The more you know, the more. <laughs> uh, but that got, like, taken down because, like, there was all these mad stories about that being, like, there being... I don't know, bad practice there and shit. So there's a um, there's a bit of forest hall, right, that was meant to be the morgue, everybody said, and that was still a forest. Like, there was forest everywhere in my estate. And when we were wee guys, like, we used to, like, you used to hear all these stories about, aye, that was a morgue, mate, so you get ghost kicking about there all the time. But I actually went down <laughs> once. All the time. And I actually did see a mad weird thing, but it obviously wasn't a ghost, but I did see something heavy weird. Like, I was walking back home, like... The bus stop I used to get to, to get wherever I was gone, was like um, outside the estate and you would climb a wall and then walk through a forest and get onto my street, if you know what I mean? So when I was walking through this forest, I like heard something, I turned around and there was like a mad, just a thing went by heavy fast, like a mad white thing like that. Aye. And I, I think it was just, it would have obviously just been something in my ear, I'm imagining it or something, but I remember people shite myself for ages about Aye. that. Like, cunts would be like, because we used to go and play football and that, but they'd be like, Momo gone down to the recce box playing football, like, that's something <laughs> we'd done all the time. I'd be like, no, mate, I'll just stay, I'll just oh, stay. Oh, it. Oh, I can't get dirty, oh, dude. I'm feeling no well today, mate, sorry. Mate, there's a guy, a guy in my work, Lee, shout out to Big Lee, mate, he's um, helped, he's helped us with this podcast more than you know, mate, with executive decisions and that, mate. Very smart guy, but what I will say is, he told me, I was asking him where to go camping, right? We want to go camping. And he's telling me these places. And he's like, blah, blah, here, here. There's a place called, like, the Secret Valley or the Hidden Valley. Do you know about this? No, like... So, it, but... the Hidden Valley is a place up near, like, Glencoe where, see, like, the Campbells and the McDonald's and that. Aye. It's where they would hide their sheep. Aye. Right in the Hidden Valley. So, the oncoming uh, Trojan of Bartle could not get anywhere near it. That's it? a broad idea from the McDonald's. Impenetrable. Yes, it's beautiful. But... That's but you can hike up there and then camp there, right? right? And it's supposedly like the one of the most haunted places in Scotland because of like the amount of deaths there was there and that, Aye. right? But he was like, that's a lot of shite because what happened was he so like he was camping there, went out for like a piss or something, I can't remember, and he went out, it was like at night, and uh, he had like a torch room, he heard this mad rustling shit, and he was like, What the fuck? And it was just deer. 
Aye. So like people must be in their tent in the middle of the night and deer must be moving about Aye. and they'll be like, where the fuck's that? And like Aye, you look at and can he see it? And, you know what I mean? Because it's that remote like you get because obviously like I've worked on like hills that are just as big as like these kind of big Monroes and that mm -hmm. for like uh, fucking the, uh, what do you call the things? I don't know what you're talking about. The big wind turbines. Oh, right, aye. So I went up on sites and, like, for wind turbines, and when you got there, you're just driving and you're like, waiting for this big gang of deer to get out your way and all that. Aye. Like, I think when someone's that remote, it's just, they just kick about all the time. But see that Cambo and McDonald thing? That was actually, see, I've not seen Game of Thrones, Joseph, but see the Blood Dinner, or whatever it was called, or the Red Dinner? Aye. The Red Wedding. That was about that. Aye, that man I think battle. the guy who'd done Game of Thrones is pure big into like Obsessed Scottish history Scottish and all that. Aye. Aye, so see, like, if you look at like the map, it's similar to Scotland as well and shit. Like, and That's there's cool, today where like Romans are down the bottom and they're trying to invade the mad icy bit of the tat or whatever. Aye. But that's like meant to be based on that. I've just loved Scottish history. That's interesting, history isn't it? It's mad how like something like that could be interested in our wee bonnie country. Our wee bonnie <laughs> island. And the no. bonnie, bonnie, bonnie. Have you ever made love with your lips to somebody uh, to the, the music of the. Barney, Barney, Barney. So, Barney. Oh, I can't oh, have sex if that's not one. Oh, sex with your lips, bro? Is in kissing? Oh, aye. I know. <laughs> Is that like a New Year thing? They do that in New Year, didn't they? I think, uh, well, when I was a, when I was just a bairn, we, um, we would do it uh, at like 18s and fucking aye, s aye. like shit like that. It's got the bit of that tune that it kicks in and it goes, it's at home, home, I'm coming up, he's fucking up on that, mate. It's pretty bad to think about it. Cuts up your taps half not. Aye, and it's pure. I feel like uh, I feel like at that moment in parties, cuts up your <laughs> hang up at man shit. Not that I like pure, <laughs> pure like evaluating the life. Pure looking at cunts like see with that pure dumb, dumb, dumb. No, pure looking at like the bird. Like does she even like me, man? <laughs> No, she I hang hates up, me, I hang man. Up reminiscing on times like that. Boom, boom, has gone. They're just thinking about like. Oh man, fucking love my mom and all that. I appreciating like, I like seeing her dad with a pint. <laughs> fucking your owl. <laughs> fucking love that. Cunt, that. It's like creating do memories, do mate. Do. That song creates memories. Mate, that's like a pathway into the Scottish DNA, bro. That's right. And only a true British Scot. <laughs> 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 right, what else we got um, for the Patreon? Oh my goodness, who is it? Friend of the show, Big Miz, has right. asked what are favourite TV shows and our fave style of comedy? My favourite style of comedy is um, just real people that are just fucking mental. No, that's not even a style of comedy. I will say my favourite style of comedy is like what you would see in maybe like Trailer Park Boys. Uh, like just, up, just like, just like we daft things like nothing I, I i i don't really like pure punchline yeah. shit like like pure obvious set up to like a mad thing like i i don't like i feel like i liked that when i was like younger maybe but then like you just like i like shit like um like nathan for you and that no i've not no Good day. Aye. aye, so you like kind of mere understated kind of comedy, like no pure in your face shit. Aye, I think so. I think that's what I've tend to kind of like, and and like I think I think what's happening now is like, to, in my opinion, is like I I don't know. This might be totally wrong, right? Maybe it's just like what I like, but like I feel like people are going away for like even like sketches and shit. Like I think like the way comedy is gone is in like what people can capture like real people doing that is like heavy funny like like channel five and shit uh, like i feel like that's where shit's kind of gone towards how do, you, how do you think that translates in like well you could say that kind of translate to, in hollywood as like uh like that zach galifianakis between two films that was a f big film in that mm -hmm. like there's actual films out. what was the one the fucking eric andre one and mm -hmm. it was like that was a mad real like a real life thing i it? think i think like people People, you can't, you can never beat a real interaction. Like, Aye. you can have a heavy, good sketch, and it can be, like, so good that you get lost in it and you forget it's just two cunts acting and shit, right? And you're like, oh, my God, that's fucking, that's funny. And, like, it makes you laugh. Obviously, you can get that. But, like, you never trump an actual real video with somebody doing something heavy funny that's Aye. no intentional or, like, it's just a natural, the way. That's why, like, Impractical Jokers done so well because it's like, right, we're going to, and we're doing this to cunts, putting it on them and just seeing, Aye. like, what they, what is people's real reactions, thing like that? And you can never act better than an actual real reaction. Aye. I think um, improv is good. Aye. 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 Because it's natural, it's like, I don't know, mate. It's just as I've gotten older, I'm like that. But I, I even say that to you, like, mate. I can't. I can barely watch things that only 
like non-fiction. Aye. See, I'm kind of different for you. I'm I'm different for that. I'm Aye. still in the mad. Like I like a mad stand up, even Do- though you can pure see behind like. That like see when like somebody like I don't know Bill Burr or something does a joke and he's pure acting out this hanging on you know he doesn't actually feel like that he's not actually that mm-hmm. angry and shit mm-hmm. but like I I kind of like forgetting about that and like just like laughing at daft shit do you know what I mean like, I pure, as I said earlier on I pure like mad absurd this shit like I like like favorite TV show I don't know is probably Always Sunny in Philadelphia and I, I like the bits of that that are pure outlandish do you know what mm-hmm. I mean aye. that are pure bait and switch aye I mean? no <laughs> definitely I think aye. And but um, I so I'd say always sunny for that as well. Um, I would say favorite TV show. Pff, don't know, man. X Factor. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, Britain's Got Talent. Um, no, I would I would maybe even just th- shove Trailer Park Boys next. I remember obviously there was a time in my life where I was waiting to go to Vietnam. I had like a month or two months, and I was just like just living like just. See exactly what you wanted today that day. Mm-hmm. I was just, I was just like sitting about watching Taylor Park Boys all day, just like because I could just because it's like waiting, like in my purgatory, waiting aye. to go to Vietnam. Like there's not, I don't really need to bother about it in here for ages. So yeah, I'm just aye. like, like no stress, no worries, just getting up and being like, what's gonna do, dude? Go put a coat on, fuck it. Walk, walk up. The sun is shining, mate. It was, it was mate, a beautiful I time. I sometimes think about like that would be the life if you like just gave up with like working and all that like imagine you just you would go, get like, bored at your nut man oh, i could love it mate i could love it so much mate but i think like so so like think about so say you're after your work even like sick right mm. say like you're no well like and it, say say you're after like four days or something right see by the third day when you're a bit better but you can't really do it and that like you you would you, you get start getting pure bored at your nut i think no, I you don't. don't. No, no. no, if I have like, see, mate, see, if I had a telly with like a streaming service and a PlayStation to play games on, mate, I will never get bored of that ever. No, like just me sitting doing that all the time. Gonna maybe gonna walk every now and again, but apart from that, just sitting, just there. hanging your head out the window for yeah. airs at, every. <laughs> come back in for two weeks. <laughs> every, every ever, man, that's beautiful. Um, but um, I so Drew Kilpatrick's asked us to react to Andrew Tate. We've done that before, actually. I, it, it's mad, like, if we can talk about him, like, what he is as a thing, like, it's weird, because it's, it's, like, it's, uh, to me, it's obviously, like, a character, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. it's obviously, like, a, a thing he switches on, do you know what I mean? But I think, like, see, like, see, because obviously you get hundreds of people like that, right, and, like, to get a bit serious for a minute, I think, like, now when you get people that are just bad cunts that try and sell we guys things, like... No, he's doing that 100%. Shit. But that I, I think with cunts like that, you're just like, oh, just fuck it, just ignore it. But I think with that Andrew Tate, kind of actually think he's like damaging. Like I don't think that's that should mm. be allowed. Mate, but like the thing is, like free speech. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, you can't just ban a cunt for like talking. I but know. what he's doing is like he's targeting a big portion. Like as we move through fucking society and people are more involved in what they're doing at like on a phone, on a laptop, online, like, their life is moving more online by the day, do you know what I mean? Like, there's no way, there's no way, I mean, we could survive without a phone. Imagine you just didn't have a phone, mate. We, we Like, it's such a part of us, it holds so much our life in it, do you know what I mean? And, like, where that is coming, these people who are finding it hard to, like, go outside and interact with people, or, like, maybe even, like, talk to lassies, or maybe they've tried yeah, to talk to a lassie. Themselves. I like, they've tried to talk to a lassie, and they've had a pure terror, like, they've bigged themselves up to date, and they've talked to them, and it's went terribly, and they're like, fucking bitch, all oh, women are fucking, do you know what I mean? And, like, they get in this mad mindset that all oh, women, and then they meet hundreds of other people like that because of the internet. So there's such a massive community of people like that, and that's who he's, like, getting in, like, all this shit, like, uh, it's, it's, because, do you know, he's, he's like, he's not a stupid guy, right? Like he's he's wrong, but he's no he's no stupid because what he's doing is like he's saying things right that like own a certain surface are like all right I kind of see what you're you're I think I kind of see like the point you're trying to make but he masks it in a way and he's very like to the point it's like Hitler or something mate. Do, do, I know, do I know what like I I noticed something about him that he he explains things he explains shit right and analogies like all the time he goes you have a car aye and. Like he's talking about like his bud and Disney like our goat the house with him. Ah, like, it's and crazy, he's like, bro. If I have a, and he, he says something like, uh, somebody says, or oh, he says, or oh, people are going to try and hit on her. 
And then she's like, I bet she's not doing anything about it. And he's like, aye, aye, but if some, if you have a car and you leave it in this spot and someone tries to break into it, you move that fucking car. You keep it away from aye. people and all that. And then I was like, that, that makes aye. sense. And but, that term. Aye, but women on the motors, Aye, mate. exactly, like, exactly. Women on the motors. And exactly. you get all these wee, mate, I bet there's wee guys that cut about with a fiestas and go, mate, this is my new bird that Tate mate, says so. Mate, there'll be people listening to us who new like, Andrew Tate's right, but I agree with it. But, but it's, it's because, like, he is, he is trying to, like, put women into a mad bracket, like, being these mad useless, like, if, if without guys, you're like, absolutely useless and all that. Subhuman. Aye, but he's masking it in a way with all the analogies that you're like, he'll make a point and then use an analogy which makes sense in that context, Aye. but knowing, knowing the context of human beings. But, but, mate, see if he spoke to somebody, see if he spoke to, like, a proper person. Aye. It wasn't on a podcast with, like, the grilling UK and all that shit, right? If he actually spoke to like, a proper person who could answer him back, mate, it would just, like... Because all you would need to say is like women on the motors, you can't do that. And it would be like, it would probably go into another thing and use another analogy. And then see, you get all the idiots in the audience or whatever, whoever's watching, it will go, I see, done them there. Aye. And you're like, no, but and all, don't, all he's doing is confusing you. Know what I mean? Aye. Mate, I found, see, when he first came about, I found it like funny, like, like this mad guy who's like acting like this mad cunt. And like, I thought cunts were like ironically writing, like, caught, and I think I a think lot of them are. are right. but, a lot of cunts are actually believing what he's saying and like mate, this cunt's right mate but do you know how that way like i was laughing like I, I was talking to somebody and i was saying like i was just laughing at it and they were saying like oh people that follow him on insta and that like they're oh, that's a mad like red flag and that mm. and i was like it's no um like they'll probably just be doing it because it's funny ah yeah like, no. hang and, yeah. And then, but then they were like but you'll know the cunt to be able to say, oh, it's all right, just leave him because you'll know the cunt that's like sitting at a date on a date with like a wee guy across the table for you explaining why you're less than human because of the cunt. Mm -hmm. Like this is affecting Lassie's lives because that big massive community you're talking about, they're going out in the world and just spreading this shit. So Aye. there's like, there's actual Lassies who have no clue who this cunt is that are like, what the fuck, like, why are you talking to me like a piece of shit? Do you know what I mean? Like it is a pure, he yeah, is, cunt's a disease, man. Fuck him. <laughs> End uh, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> you put it on him there, man. Um, so we get a message on Patreon from uh, Yakuza Booza. Um, good name. Eh? Um, One so of the best names on Patreon. He's asked, um, he'd like to hear a bit about our music tastes. Um, we've had a few DJs on now, but we've not talked much about what we're actually into. Um, be interesting to hear about the best gigs you've been to, what influenced your taste in music, and what made Evan into a top driller. Bruh, <laughs> what, me, I'll tell you right now what made me into a top driller, right? <clears throat> well, this is the beginning of it all. I remember them, um, there was a morning that we were sitting in, pff, sitting in my good friend Joseph's, and um, it was the early hours of the morning. And if anyone's um, familiar with the Albos, the elbows had been phoned. It was about half six in the morning, one of the times. And I remember, this was years ago, and like, no, it might, might not have been elbows, it might not have got into that yet, but somebody was phoned mm -hmm. for the, the service. Yeah. So, we're waiting, and I just remember my, my pal Joseph, Big Bra Kieran, playing a Skepta tune. And like, it, I can't remember what it is, what it was, but I was like, I had never heard an English cunt rap like that you know uh, what i mean i was like what the fuck this is like years ago right i was like that's fucking i like that do you uh, know what i mean i was like i would never think i would like an english cunt rapping but i heard it and i was like that's fucking amazing i remember like being into like skepta fucking i like get mad grime shit uh, devil man and shit and then it was the mad ciphers with him and all I, like, pure joy and when it like I, devil man ciphers and that like I, it's, such, the, the, it's just such a different sound man but then Obviously, you go through the years and you're like, and then I remember the first tune I think I heard, which was like, like that I liked was like drill, like I would say is like drill. I remember I was sitting in pages, fucking about probably same time as the other one, half six the morning, <laughs> just sitting, me and him are fucked. And I remember he put on, he's like, wait till you see this tune. And I remember he put on a, Dutch, a song, Dutch Valley, only if you knew, only if you knew, I think it's got, only if you know, only if you knew. And he's like, it's this video, mate, and he's like, fucking, and he comes in it, and he's wearing this big red coat, mate, like doing, and he's mate, Dutch Avelli's about six five, mate, and Aye. he just looks, he looks nuts, bro. But <laughs> now that <laughs> way, like, you're like, fuck, and he's with all, he's with hunters, I can't in their own, like, in London, like, obviously, like the, like the, like the close that they're in, sort mm -hmm. of thing. 
they their own the stairs and that and they've got these big massive dugs and shit like with Aye. the ears clipped and it was like I, when i seen that i was like fuck this cunt looks mental Aye. and i remember i was just like started listening to that started listening to like ofb pure back in the day and then i you just get into that and then Aye. You've like moved on to like you always send me US drill tunes. They're nuts the, and all, man. I I I would say like the past mm, two months I've been listening to like I I move for like fifty fifty because I oh I would listen to right for like years. Me and Pagey drill UK drill UK drill nothing else. And then I remember I watched a a Vice documentary about Australian drill. Right. One is that these kind called one four right. and they're like. It, it, it was like a documentary like going through and they it's Mount, Mount Druid in um, Sydney right. it's like a mad fucked part of Sydney like the pure roughest part you can't imagine it's that. like where all it's like where all the mad islanders and shit are do you Aye. know what I mean they're all like fucking Tongan and Samoan and shit uh-huh. um, and they're just these obviously they're massive Aye, bro so, mate, so these cunts were just nuts and I was just watching them they were going about where they stayed and that so I listened to them for a wee bit and then but after that it was just like UK drill and then there's a guy on TikTok right who always dances pop, pop you can pull him up he's called I'll get his name right he always dances in in New York like at Times Square and that to like um, fucking the same same tune he does the same dance he's an amazing dancer right he's like he kind of just walks he walks in and it's like oh can he remember and he his just name just starts dancing and he fucks mad crowds and that I've seen him this this is the young man Shafa underscore uh, SJC. He's a, a dancer in New York, but this is like the first US song I was like, I've heard recently that I was like, because I don't really like, like, I mean, I get Kendrick Lamar and that are like really good, but I just like, it's just no math. There's not I, enough blood I, and guts just, and thunder. Mate, there's not enough darkness in it, bro. Aye. It's too, I'm um, feelings and all this. I'm, all right, Kendrick. Do you know what I mean? I feel sad, I feel good. Yeah, all right, all right, that was man. actually quite a good impression. Thanks, mate. I've been, I've been working on it, mate. Yeah. Practicing. But this is the first song I heard, and I was like, fucking yes, fling that in me. I'm with your and I ran out of condoms. Yes. Thought I don't want no problem. Please give a stick because you know that I got one. Yes. She gave me tops from the bottle. So I gotta hit that, split that. She wanna bring a friend. I said I'm so with good. that. It's too many odds, can't miss hey, that. Yeah, but then that's when you get cooked at. With the Mac and Mary, I be tripping. Step into you, but I am not Christian. Nah. And I pray to God, I hope he listen. I smoke as I got a weed. Take too many knocks when I'm gonna be the crowd. I'm trying to run. You get the shot. All of these bullets go. Imagine you could just Aye, do that, that's mate. Mental. But he must be like, if he's in New York, he must go to Juilliard or something, like a mad dance school, man. Like, you can't be that good at that. Just No, I I don't know, like, but, but all his videos get banned because it's like, oh, dangerous activities, but he's got to write, I'm a Aye, professional in every video. Crush your balls if mm-hmm. you do split for us. Um, right, so I, my, my music taste, I'll go into that. Aye, um, tell so us. I'm into like your bands and that, mate. I like rap. I like drawing that and all, but mainly bands. Like I've I've no grew out of that phase. You know what I mean? Like I started listening to Oasis when I was like twelve, mate, and just haven't, haven't stopped. <laughs> same no, same album. No, like my favorite band ever. Like band you know, called them that is the Street Snappy. Like like no matter the genre of music I like, mate. Near enough elevator music beats. We just cunts talking to them. Aye, I love shit like that. Like, Aye. Mad slow, mad yeah. Those like, new cunts like that hack backer kind of showed you, and you were mate, like, I like that, but it's not got enough. Mate, know who's good? You heard the mad Love Island freestyle that mad um, uh, Nico, Nico B. B, Nico mate, B. Like he's him. good, mate. He's got like him, man. Tune. He's got an R tune. It's good, man. He's got a funny tune. Actually, it's like because I listened to. Cause I had that one for ages ago. I don't know if you remember. It was like, who's that? What's that? I, I don't care aye. what I'm doing, but I. But then I, I listened to his tunes, and he has another one, right? It's called like Canada Goose, and it's like saying, think it's heavy fast, and it's like iPhone 4 and a bottle of juice, we've been loose in a can of the goose. Uh, <laughs> it just keeps doing magic. Mate, uh, it's just clever, <laughs> me shit. Aye. Aye. I like, like, I can appreciate that shit. Aye, but um, aye, the streets are like my favourite, my favourite gig ever, because I think that was part Oh, of that's part of it, aye. Uh, it was probably like, I like idols and that, I, idols at the Barrowlands, like mad punk gigs, I like shit like that. Mad cunts wanting to battle, you know, like, went seen Prodigy, I know, like, obviously, R.I.P., but... I mean, it's the name and that was the same. Like, I'm mad mosh bit of side, like, and <clears throat> country people running towards you, try to crack, you know? I like shit like that. Aye, you're right into that. <laughs> mad shit, mate, do you know, I was watching, um, I was watching, like, the thing about Woodstock 99 on Netflix. Have you oh, seen that? Yeah, I've not seen that. Mate, watch that shit. Insanity, bro. It- Madness, mate. So, what was Woodstock was actually 66? Right. So, so, aye, so I'll explain it, right? I, won't, I don't want to, like, ruin it for cunts because it's just out, right? But, like, aye. 
basically the, the like so Woodstock it was in sixty nine, right? And I am sure it was sixty nine, it was I was and it was like a crazy good event, mate. It was just like so many people, but people that went to it are like see seeing that many people getting on, like there was like hundreds of thousands of people at it Aye. and they but there was no like fucking everybody got on each other because it, it's just the time the time it was, it was, it was the, the height of hippie uh, right, exactly so like mate i seen pictures like women like breastfeeding their wings and that sitting about at their campsite like fucking Aye. like like it almost it looks like a mad rural community Aye. do you know what i mean i like just a peaceful kind of but then like that it's weird because like the reason that would have felt so special back then right because i think in the park's better right? right no but like see in the park when you're a wee guy it's like nothing can be better than this like oh like mm -hmm. oh this campsite and you're going around and seeing all these like pals that are kind of distant pals and people you know uh, that, and you're just having a pure buzz if a weekend right but the reason that like woodstock's better is because it was back again and nobody knew that everybody was into that imagine Aye. the surprise of turning up there and being like i thought i was a mad like do you know what i mean i get you i didn't like know we, there was mere cunts like me like you there's no communities Aye. on the internet and that like you knew got to Dean apart, like, oh, they're going and they're going, we're getting the bus with them and all Aye. that. It was a mad thing, but like, there you're just like meeting people. It's like, but that's what I'm saying. I was saying to Jamie and Joseph out there, I would love to go back, baby. I would love to just plot myself in the 30s, maybe the 40s. And no, no, because like, there's, I mean, I know there's wars going on, but I'm not, I'm looking deeper than that, Jamie. I mean, I watched um, a podcast and I, I heard a guy say, an orange, right? An orange today is nine times less nutritious as an orange was in like 1960. Shocking. Because of like the, the land. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Soil was contaminated. Aye. So like, mere, like I, I think like because it's pesticides. Not there's something pesticides. there's something about like everything was a bit more natural, if that makes sense. Like the world was a lot like think about all the land and all that now that's turned to fucking hotels and all that that was um crazy good like even in the 50s like all the shit you've seen like that was just natural like stunning beaches that hadn't even polluted yet and like do you know what i mean it's like a, earth was a bit in a better nick what i say aye. even though there was mad shit going on in people's people's fucking life was h h 10 times harder like there's never been an easier time to be alive than right now do you know what i mean it's like but i would love to but you'd like be like so why be in a comfort zone in 2022? No, you bro. Go back and see. I know what you mean. It's a mere hope. Like it seems like a whole, mere hope something. But it's, it probably was, not it? There was probably like, like you know, you you're into your serial killers and that, like your documentaries. <laughs> yeah. That's all back then. No all this sinister shit. Was but back do you know? Then. Do, do you know why? Do you know why that's back then? Because there's no CCTV, not. No, but well, I. But like the reason that there was so many serial killers in like the 70s and 80s and that was because like think how much more advanced we are with like testing dna and like all this shit new it's much harder to be a serial killer so it's not that people have got better it's that people get caught after maybe one so aye. they can't be a serial killer aye. because it's much easier aye, to catch people now better time that's still a better thing because like even back then we were talking once i don't know what we we're talking on but we we're talking about morals it was the big mess i think and we we're saying like changes through time like even the 40s it was like all right to be like heavy racist not like heavy like, I don't know, I think like there's some parts of it that would be a pure nice existence. No, I'm, I'm, not talk I'm not talking about a social, cultural thing. I'm talking about just seeing like just the land, there. just Aye. the land and like how like, I don't know, like the built, like I feel like everything new is so like, I don't know, like no commercialised. It's just like everything and like you're sleeping and there's Bluetooth on and it's Aye. fucking, not that like, everything. radiation And like around. we're all just sat and we're all just like sitting on phones and like no really, like I feel like your relationship, I vape them and fucking rim jobs. I don't know what's going on, right? <laughs> and like everybody, like, but back then people were much more connected. Like I, I feel like relationships with people were, I mean, Hank, like even, I mean, even if you've got a good relationship with your mom and dad and that, like, you're just sitting with them, you're like on your phones and like, do you know what I mean? Aye, it's like, is that mad stereotypical, like, eh, or family or sitting room, like, the, the most like media you'd consume is like a radio when you're eating your dinner and all that, like just family talking and all that, but I don't even know how, like, aye, but I, I don't know how actual common that was. I think, like, I think what, I think. I know it was mere like families that were get like, I was Barton fucking. Aye, but what that. I'm saying is like, if you're alive in that time, right, it's much, like, I think the the moment that everybody needs to be in is the present moment, right? See, when you are knowing the present moment, that's when 
you're worrying about the future you're worrying about what you said you're worrying about where you, where's my life gone do I, like, like, what am I? Aye, but it's cause like we have got so much time to think about these things and life is so like see because like everything like we can like communicate let's like, see if we want to talk to somebody we can literally just phone them or text them and like it'll come up or they've read that at this time and they're typing and then life is so like we're, we're too informed about things that are going on that we get dragged out of the present moment constantly because we're constantly thinking about like say you go on your phone like you go through Instagram, you're like, oh, something's on holiday. When can I go on holiday? I need to think about going on holiday. Fuck, I'm in work my life. Do you know what I mean? But back then, there was no, like, and I, I, that even takes it back even further and further. The further you go back, because life is getting easier, so we're having more time to worry about things. I think that's why that's so many people are fucking, like, depressed, basically. Aye. That's what I was going to ask, like, is that, like, the perfect time? If you know what I mean? Because if you go back further, it's like, life's too difficult. So is that Aye. why you're saying, like, 50s and that? Because it's, like close enough to the present to be comfortable aye. and no like pure life threatening aye I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not even I'm not even saying I would like to be alive then but just the way like there is something about life now that's like we're so everything's just so like we're never in that moment like we're on our phones looking at all these people in different places when we could just be like sitting doing something in that aye. moment because like all you, the only moment you ever have is the present moment. You don't ever have any other moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, you can only either like pure yearn for it. You can only look Aye. forward to it or reminisce about the past. So it's Aye. like it's no actual experience in a moment. Aye. The only moment you can experience is the present. Can I? It's kind of like when. So if you if you are the most present in that moment, like now we're talking about putting it on cunts. Oh, I love it. Aye. Right. So like, see when you're putting it on cunts, it's like the shit I was saying. Like you're kind of just going up. I'm just saying like this is what I'm thinking right now. Mm -hmm. So that was like what we're talking about there it's like a, a there's a guy i don't know a, a guy called sir francis bacon right and he said that see being in that moment and like putting it on cunts that was like actually engaging with reality instead of like instead of just floating about and i said i know that mad jungian theory about like the unconscious mind being when you're just floating about and you're just like buying a bus ticket and that that's the like, autopilot Aye, that like when you're driving to work and you can't even remember one bit of your drive and that Aye. that autopilot is like and that and that theory says that that's um you're technically not alive then you're unconscious i feel that but and the more that you are grounded in your own reality is the more time you spend being like a human being and actually interacting with life which will ultimately make you happier, even if it's bad, even if it's the the situation that you're in. If you're still realizing it with it, like in yourself, and you're like engaging with, it, then it's like in the long run, it's better. Aye, you know what I mean, I like you can spend all your time worrying about the future, but the way to affect the future is just being in the present moment. Aye, like worrying about the future doesn't doesn't yeah, get but, you in a better predicament. What are you yeah, gonna say? I think it's like it's a different person kind of thing. Like, I'll let can a future me handle that? Do you ever uh, do that? that makes you in what? But you don't do the same him. about the past. I mean, the do past you know, is also because it's harmed because you've it's Fuck tangible. That guy, that guy for the past. Uh, but all my all my cells are actually different now. Something yeah. like that. You ever heard that? Like, Either every eight, eight years, you're a completely new person or something. Aye, like that. literally a new person. Half your brain cells. Aye. Brain cells can't die off because then you're then you're fucked. Even. I think mine. But, uh, that's like a mad old philosophy hanging and all. Like if you changed every if there's a wooden ship, and you changed every single plank. Would it be the same ship kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And that was like an old little... An old sailor joke. An old... Uh, we uh, used to... When we were down with the merry men, we used to say... What is Irish? <laughs> I don't know, an Irish sailor. Do you racism? get them? Do you get them? Irish sailors? Uh, the, the film coming out uh, in cinemas near you. Fisherman's Friends 2. Aye? Is uh, it? Aye, that's it, aye. Fisherman's aye, Friends 2. We've got we've a, mints, a film segment in the podcast. Oh, oh. have we? Joe, um, movie corner. Is Joe what I integrate a movie corner? Joe's corner. Start your own fucking podcast, mate. So that was the Patreon trips. Cheers for the questions. Um, I was wanting to spring something on you, Evan. A wee, a wee hinky hink about. I seen this on TikTok, mate. And I wanted, I, as soon as I seen it, I was like, I'm saving that. And I'm going to ask Evan. I'm going to tell Evan about it on the podcast. So, your tongue knows every feeling in the world. Right. Oh boy. Ima look around this room, right, and look at shit, and imagine putting your tongue on it, and you can, you can feel it. You would know what that felt like. Oh, I do know this. You know what that oh, felt like. I, in your I tongue. know. See, I know. All too well. road, right? Look at <laughs> anything in your room, and look at it, and you can imagine what that feels like on your tongue. I can. I really can. Every single thing, mate. Even though I've not done <laughs> it, you've no licked everything in the world. <laughs> 
I think he did it as a baby. You no, remember maybe, mate, maybe. But you've no licked everything. Like, I've never licked a green screen, but I know exactly what that would feel like. I mean, uh, the ice caps. <laughs> I've never licked a polar ice cap, and I know exactly what that would feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Aye. I mean, it would be cold. <laughs> a shite and all that? I, I know, I would know that. Um, I can taste it. I can taste that shit right now, mate. It's not even the taste, though. It's the feeling on your tongue. That's what I think's mad about it. Mate. Like a crispy, like a crispy shite? shite. <laughs> a jaggy shite Crispy shredded shite One <laughs> and fried rice <laughs> oh, I don't really like that Make it happen guys 2022 Johnny doing the road from here doing a cracking deal <laughs> <laughs> Two cans Two crispy fr- <laughs> Crispy shredded shites And two fried rice 40 quid And a jumbo sausage bro Don't mind don't mind. And one of the um, Mind they were doing like A curry and a chicken bar Or something Do you remember <laughs> I mean, that I mean they're banging I, think I only tried, tried one of them For the first time the other day And I was rough As with Morgan And we ordered it I don't even know if it was What, what, they, what is the name of it? Mate it was like a, it, it, was, it was like a chicken curry roll And it was like Chips, chicken curry, onions, rice on like a big spring roll. That is that is mate. It was the best thing shit, ever. Mate. Honestly, the Chinese kills only mate. <laughs> 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 you get laughed out of China if you sell that. Talking man. about tasting things, mate. A guy, guy I work with Barry, and what a guy Barry is. Ooh, Barry. So I was with Barry the day, and Barry every day brings in um, like a bottle of diluting juice, right? But he'll like have the hang full so like, he'll have he'll bring the diluting juice and then he'll bring the exact same bottle shape right but just like mix it in that for so water, right? i so like he'll put he'll put the diluting juice in a the bottle and then fill it up with water and he'll drink out that one um there's been some bundles involved aye, there's <laughs> everything man so he's um he'll drink out that other one right so see the day he's like that to me in the morning he's like that we're doing that quadruple strength now, right? Have you seen this? No. Mate, t- it's like a tablespoon you need for like a glass. Aye. I, I mean, what, of just like Robinson's? Aye, so like Robin, no, they're, de- they're gone. Robinson's, I've heard, legally don't want to get involved in oh, it, really, mate. It's aye. only the own brand aye. willing to take the risk. Aye. Aye. It's like Tesco own brand. So like, Barry's like, I'm fucking doing them had quadruple strength. He's like, I mixed a bit of there, fucking, it's fucking what ringing, you know what I mean? Like, he was like, I pulled a tiny bit in and it was still reeking, right? So. As if it's like a body, that's too strong. Aye. Mate, it was exactly like that, right? So he's like, oh, fuck, right? So then the day, right, I had, like, my earpods in. I was listening to something. I was carrying something. So I'm, like, walking in front of him. And I just heard you, yeah, like a mad cough like that, right? And I was turning around, right? And he was pure, like, I could see him pure, like, his eyes putting at me. Yeah. Right? And I was like, what the fuck? But then I was like, oh, maybe he's just, like, coughing or something. Do you know what I mean? So I, I walked there, I came back, and he's like, ah, to me. I was like, what, what, what happened, right? Up your Ma- pool done? No, what he done, right? He had, he right, so he'd went and just filled the, the, the empty bottle, like the mix up, right? So he's came run with that, right? Sat it down and then no even been looking, right? And put his horn on the, the table and picked up the quadruple strength <laughs> I looked and just and done that, mate. And looked, took a mad swig. He was like, I've been doing that for about a week, man. <laughs> I'm surprised he actually did me. Mate, he was like, he was actually walking about like pure. Uh, pure Chernobyl one. Yeah, yeah, actually, because obviously, like, it's roasting, mate. You know what I mean? He's like, he's like, obviously, just filled it up pure freezing cold. He's, I, like, he's just like, no, no qualms about taking I, the biggest like, drink mate, ever. See, even if you'd done like a shot of that, you'd be pure, but, and he like, t- pure took a swig out. So it. imagine, like, a shot, uh, like, imagine a big, massive gulp of diluting juice. Imagine how horrible that'd be. Imagine the double <laughs> strength <laughs> shit, right? Imagine double that. Imagine <laughs> That would actual taste like absinthe for some. Mate, I would not be surprised if I walked in Barry had like knee eyebrows or eyelashes about it. <laughs> I mean, imagine they, he was pure, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> would you say if could feel brief fire and all that now? Would you say if had a bad superpower? Mate, I wouldn't tell anybody. No? Mate, if, uh, look, see if you've got a superpower, I'm your guy, right? I don't, I'm not a tattletale. No. Share it with me. Mm-hmm. We can take over the world. Right, but you would uh, you would try and profitise that, wouldn't you? I would monopolise and I would t- tear down societies and cultures and I would rip out the history of places. Rip the heart. <laughs> Aye, and I would not flinch, mate. I would not flinch. No, no, but... But I, I love getting Joe wee bits today with the green screen. <laughs> See, I, like, uh, <laughs> I just like day up, mate. <laughs> He's like, fuck, that, that's for you, Joe. <laughs> Troops, that's it, man. We hope you enjoyed. Look, as we mentioned, the merch is here, baby. We're wearing it. We're wearing it with pride. You can go get that at clubshopdirect.co.uk forward slash Riley's Gaff. It's all in the description, baby. It's been a long time coming. We've got mugs. We've got tote bags. We've got key rings. We've got it all, yeah? Got Free it all, designs. Yeah. All sorts of colours. Cool covers. We really, we are happy with it, man. We're really happy. It took a bit of time, but we wanted to make sure it was like 
shit we would actually wear. Aye, that was the main thing. Like, we, we didn't want pure, like, uh, lovely, lovely for a cup. Aye. But we didn't want that logo just in a t-shirt because it wouldn't have felt like uh, nah. we were doing something we wanted to put a bit of soul a in A bit it. of heart, a bit of heart. And some farts. I didn't do that. Was a I knew that was coming there, man. So if you want that merch, go get it. And we've got the Patreon. Yes, we do. If you want to go support us, you want to show some love, you want some extra content, we've got an extra deep fried every month, one a month. Imagine that. Crazy. Um, and we've also got like we vlogs we're going to be doing Scheme Olympics where everywhere we rent, eh, rented, <laughs> rated <laughs> on uh, Scheme Olympics, we're going to visit it and see... What is the real judgment here? Let's let's feel the land. Let's talk to the locals and see what the fuck's going on here. So www.patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff. Go check out all our sponsors. They help us out massively, yes. Yeah? So if you're supporting them, you're supporting us. And we love you guys. Cheers. Well, cheers. I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kick back and relax in your best No, I'm sitting on right, these guys